Hey everyone, it is Brian Kaz here. Uh, we have a pretty exciting call for it for you. Um, in fact, uh, this one's actually with a person I've known for, gosh, probably, I want to say at least a decade, probably actually more, um, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, her name is Rachel Rofe, and she'll be basically showing you about how you can have, or you can essentially build lots of very, very cool products um, and all sorts of different things like mugs and pillowcases and all sorts of stuff like uh, that and how you can make your own d designs, even if you're not a designer, even if you don't have any ideas, she'll sh show you how and how you can instantly turn those around and sell them um, without having to actually have any inventory. And the cool part is on top of that, She'll show you how you don't really have to risk anything at all. So it's not like you have to buy inventory and hope that you you sell it. It's one of those things where if you sell it, great, you make some some of dough. If you don't, uh, zero risk because you don't have to have any inventory. Um, and she's able to basically do this because she's been in the business a long time. And in the past, I want to say uh, probably several years or so, uh, she's actually owned a, a pretty big warehouse with uh, quite a few employees. In fact. Um, I think last I checked, it was uh, essentially dozens and dozens and dozens of employees. And they have this warehouse where they make all sorts of products, all sorts of custom things. Um, and uh, in the past couple of years or so, she basically essentially opened that up uh, to allow guys like us uh, to, to make products and to essentially drop ship those. And she'll show you how um, not only are there uh, lots of ways where you can make those, but she'll even show you where you can sell them, um, oftentimes without even uh, having to pay for traffic or anything else. Now, obviously, there's lots of things you can do to get additional traffic, or, or if you want to do paid ads, that's all fine. But she'll show you ways where you can list these on certain sites and not pay a penny for any of that traffic um, unless it makes a sale. So pretty neat uh, um, stuff that I think you'll uh, learn. Um, and on top of it, what's really neat is um, I actually followed some of the stuff that, that she, she did um, about a year ago or so, um, right prior to uh, Father's Day, and uh, made some sales off the methods uh, that she said uh, right there. So uh, pretty cool thing. In fact, um, we actually even uh, essentially trained a worker uh, to do some of the stuff that she said, and they were making sales off that. And I've heard a, a lot of really awesome uh, case st studies and um, real awesome stuff right there. So I know you guys will really, really love this. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can learn off of this. And I thought it was a pretty interesting topic um, to basically make some extra money uh, online, whether it be if you just want to make a little bit or whether you want to turn it into a full-fledged business. Uh, I know that you'll really, really love this. So uh, without further ado, uh, Rachel, I'll let you take this away right here. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. And we have so much to cover today. Uh, I'm actually here with Don from Gearbubble. He is going to be here just to help answer questions and things like that. You might hear him every once in a while uh, interject, but it'll mostly be me. So yeah, thanks again for having me here and let's get going. And what we are going to go over today is I'm going to show you how you can make daily sales on the world's biggest e-commerce sites without spending any money up front. So we're going to go over the system and then how I will personally help you do it. And the big idea here is we're going to show you how to take ugly text-based designs, really ugly designs, and then put them on um, products like posters, pillowcases, mugs, shirts, shot glasses, and then sell them on sites like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay. And the way we do it, we don't risk any money for any inventory or anything like that. It's all very simple and easy to get started. Now, I don't like to do these webinars where I give you the whole rigmarole of where I came from and my rags to riches story and all that. Um, but just so you can see that I have some experience with what I'm gonna share with you and that it actually works and not just kind of giving you theory. I pulled a report from a recent 30 day period. As you can see here, I made five figures for this month and that's consistent, five figures throughout every month. But then during Christmas, it peaks. So you can see here in this 30 day period for Christmas time, that was six figures. So it's a profitable endeavor throughout the year and it certainly has peaks that make it even more profitable. We'll get into the profit margins and everything here shortly, but profit is just under half of this. So 
it's still a lot of profit, still over five figures in pure profit. Now I mention Amazon a lot, but the sales come in from all over. So you can also sell on Etsy, eBay, Bonanza, Shopify, Gearbubble Pro, whatever kind of store you have. And the cool thing is what you're going to learn is the products that you'll be able to sell are products that you can be proud of. Here are some of the reviews that I've got on different, I've gotten on different products. And of course you're gonna have cranky customers sometimes, but for the most part, I get mostly five-star rankings. That's the kind of thing you can expect with these products. They're high quality. So it's a fun thing that feels really good to do. Okay, so we have a lot to go through. I talk fast. I am doing my best to talk um, a little bit slower, but there is a lot of content here. The last time I shared this, people were saying they had literally pages worth of notes. So definitely make sure your distractions are closed off. You're giving this your full attention and you're ready to take lots of notes. I'm gonna quickly go into why you wanna pay attention because it'll be helpful for you to see why this is so valuable, why you wanna close off your distractions, and then we're gonna get into the how. So first, the cool thing about what we're going to go over is you're gonna see how you can get in front of thousands of people without needing to know anything about traffic. Because we're selling on sites like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, these are sites that have invested millions and millions of dollars in getting traffic to their sites already. So you don't need to do search engine optimization. You don't need to do paid ads or anything like that. You're just getting to leverage their marketplaces and you get to be on the same even playing field as lots of other sellers. You also don't need to spend money. Like I said, you sell ugly text-based designs. You don't need to outsource any kind of pretty masterpieces. You don't pay for ads. You don't pay for even inventory. It's super risk-free. You can spend as much time or as little time as you want on it. This is something that I started doing as a stress reliever. It's really fun for me. I love coming up with my little phrases. And there are many times where I'll go months without touching it at all because this is actually my third business. I have two other ones that take up a lot more of my time. It's extremely simple. This is something that we have even kids doing, a lot of kids doing because of its very clear cut approach. In fact, I think the biggest mistake that people make with this is overthinking it. And it brings in a lot of passive income. Here's a screenshot from just Amazon one random day. And this is very typical. Now, just so you know, it's not just me getting those results. You can see here, I've been teaching other people how to do this as well. There are people uh, here listed eight mugs on Amazon over the weekend, made my first sale today, sold a mug. I put up nine mugs on eBay three hours ago, already sold two. And so now it's time for you to enjoy this as well. So the first part of what we're going to go over, I call it my low hanging system. It's a seven step system and it's formulaic. So really you follow the steps, you make money. You can't really do it wrong because the approach is all about throwing spaghetti at the wall and making it really simple. Of course, I can't guarantee that you get results, but I could pretty much guarantee that if you keep repeating the formula, it's inevitable you get sales. So I'm going to give you as much as I can in our hour together. I have a lot prepped for you. Uh, we're going to go over how to make ugly designs that sell like gangbusters on sites like Amazon and eBay, how to find winning concepts in seconds, how to sell hundreds of products without ever touching inventory or buying a thing, how to get items sent from USA and some on Europe on your behalf, how to get your products listed and selling even if you have no experience, how to scoop up tons of low-hanging sales, and exactly how you can make daily sales without spending any money up front. My commitment overall is to learn how to make the daily sales on the world's biggest e-commerce sites without spending any upfront money whatsoever. And you can see a lot of these kind of bullet points and promising some big things. Now, like with pretty much every webinar presentation, there's going to be an offer for you at the end. I don't want you to even consider it if you feel like I haven't fulfilled on my promises so far. Hopefully you find that fair. Uh, if you think that sounds good, please type in yes, and I'm going to get a sip of water. Yes, 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 yes. Got a ton of yeses flying through the chat box here. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks guys for participating. I love seeing this. It brings my energy up, gets me pumped. Okay, so first we'll go into step one. And step one is all about coming up with a concept. Here is where we talk about 
or we figure out the types of phrases that we want to start putting on our mugs. And the good news is here, you really can't mess up. Um, I said before, we're throwing spaghetti at the wall, and this is all about fun and trying lots of things. We just want to keep a couple things in mind. And if you keep those things in mind, we'll go over here, you'll do really well. Just for some perspective, you can see here, these mugs I pulled from Amazon's bestseller lists. They've been sold several thousand times. And you could see here, we have one that's pixelated, one that has bad grammar. But the thing is, what we're doing is we're just selling novelty products to people. I use mugs most of the times in my examples, but we're selling all kinds of things, shirts, posters, pillowcases, necklaces, whatever. And they're usually less than $20, so it's an impulse buy. And we just need to make people smile. That could be either with making something funny or sentimental. It's a very easy sale. And really what we're doing is we're giving people what they're going to spend money on already. You could see here I started on Google, I just started putting in buy gift for, and then you see people are already looking, buy gift for wife, girlfriend, boss, whatever. And we're giving them exactly what they have their wallet out ready to purchase. So you can find lots of different ideas in many places. I'm going to show you here a few ways that you can get ideas pretty quickly. The first thing we'll do is go for Google Images. So we'll get out of the slides here. And this is images.google.com. And what I'd like to do is if I want to make a design in, let's say knitting, I use knitting a lot, uh, then I'll look for complementary niches that I could find ideas from. So for example, here um, in Google Images, I'm gonna put something in like funny crocheting meme. And I'm gonna to look to see if I can find anything that would make sense for knitting. I'm not going to just take a phrase that I see, but I like to rewrite them a little bit and then come up with things that we can apply to lots of different niches. So here's a good one already. Uh, you think chocolate is addicting. You've obviously never tried crochet, so you could do, you've obviously never tried knitting. And what I like to do is I have a notepad file out and I just, write down the ideas. And we could even change it, like you think coffee is addicting, you've obviously never tried knitting, would be one. This way we're writing it different a little bit, and then for this one, if we're putting it on a coffee mug or something, then it's perfect, right? Coffee, coffee mug. Okay, here's another one. It's Friday night, I'm home knitting. Don't laugh, so are you. Uh, that one is a good one. In my dream world, yarn is free and knitting makes you thin. It's a great one. And you can do lots of different searches here. So like a funny, differing, funny crocheting meme is one. You can do funny crocheting quote as another one. And here's a perfect one. Even, so it says on a bad day, there's always crochet. So I could say even on a bad day, you could still knit. Now the cool thing is here, by the way, and I'm gonna show you how you can make designs very, very quickly. When we say even on a bad day, you can still knit. I'll make this bigger so you can see. You can also make that say, even on a bad day, you can still scrapbook, you can still run, you can still play basketball. Crochet is and always will be my therapy. Knitting is my therapy. Scrapbooking is my therapy. So you get the idea. You can see how easy you can come up with a bunch of different ideas here on your notepad file. And just to show you another good one is funny crocheting shirt. I like doing a search for shirt or other items that people can buy because they've pretty much already been proven to be commercially friendly. And again, we're not just lifting people's phrases, we're rewriting them and applying them to different niches. And also, we are looking for word-based phrases. I like to keep things as simple as possible, so we're not uh, making images or anything like that. I'm gonna show you how you can make these text-based images and spin up the text, the, the fonts to make it look cool. You'll see how we do that. And really just keep it as simple as possible. I call it low hanging system for a reason. And another way that you can get images is go into Pinterest. For here, I'm gonna say funny crocheting jokes. And let's see if we can find some ideas. Okay, here's one. Uh, when you can't find your favorite crochet hook, I mean, I could see 
Um, the worst is when you can't find your knitting needles. And then when you can't find your basketball, when you can't find your sneakers, whatever. Let's see here. If I look tired in the morning, I mean, even though I get this is like a sexual innuendo joke, you could also do if I look tired in the morning, it's because I've been scrapbooking all night. I've been knitting all day night. It still makes sense. Okay. And the same thing with Pinterest, as with Google Images, we could do funny crocheting jokes, funny crocheting memes, funny crocheting shirts, and we'll get tons of ideas. So many, so many different ways here to get ideas. People look at bumper stickers, you can look on different sites. Actually, I'm gonna get a quick sip of water again here. Okay, oh, and here's another one. It doesn't matter if I knit two hours or 13 hours, I will still wanna knit the next day. Okay, and then another thing that you can do is go on websites and see what's already selling. So this particular product, this particular software is part of the offer that I mentioned I'm going to make at the end. You can do this manually as well though. You would go on different sites and do a search for whatever it is you're looking for. So for here, I did the example of a funny knitting mug. And what this does is it looks for the different products on Amazon that, come, that are funny knitting mug, and then it'll sort them by that seller ranking. So if you were doing this manually, you would just open up all the different funny knitting mug um, results that you could find, scroll down to bestseller ranking and see which ones are doing the best. And then you can get lots of ideas from here. So there's items here. Sorry, there's a lot of cursing, uh, but here, go away, I'm knitting, go away, I'm crocheting, go away, I'm scrapbooking, all that. I just want to drink coffee and crochet all day, scrapbook all day. So you get ideas there. You can go on sites like eBay. Same thing. This particular software sorts it by how many sales there are for each product. Etsy, you can search by either favorites, see how many items have been favorited or how many have been viewed. And the cool thing is I find that every single site has different sayings. So you get to find lots of different things here. Uh, Winello is another one. I mean, we do it with each site based on like how many saves or views or whatever that particular website does. And you can go and check out any of them. So like born to knit, forced to work, born to crochet, forced to work. No, none, none. Weekend forecast, crocheting with a chance of wine or even with a chance of coffee. Okay, you get the idea. So we'll go back here into the slides and do a quick recap here. And the things that we want to remember when we're coming up with these different phrases, you saw we could find them really, really easily. We want to just make sure that first we're looking for products where groups of people buy. When I say that, I mean, I gave the example of funny knitting mug because that's something that people would type in and look for. And remember in the beginning, I was saying we want to pretty much give people what they're actively looking for, what they have their wallet out, what they're ready to buy. You don't want to come up with kind of like abstract phrases that you think are funny because even though they might have a place somewhere, we're just trying to keep this as simple as possible. Just give people exactly what they want to pay us for. We definitely don't need to copy completely. You can make variations, right? So scrapbooking makes me happy can be changed to scrapbooking is my happy place. As we went over, you can change out the words instead of just scrapbooking makes me happy. You can have soccer makes me happy, basketball makes me happy. And this is how you can start to scale up and have tons of designs really quickly. And you'll see once we go into how to make the design, how simple that is. Definitely recommend that you go with word-based designs. Some of the things you can do with images are really, really easy. We'll go into that in a little bit, but for now, just keep up with the word-based designs. That's the path of least resistance. And those are usually the things that do the best on Amazon. And then if you're feeling blank, you're not sure where to start, I gave you a bunch of ideas. You can also look at bestseller lists, trending lists. Inspiration is really endless. Okay, so if that was helpful and you're ready for step two, please type in yes while I get another sip of water. All right, you got a ton of yeses in the box for you. And I'm trying to answer any questions that come through as well. But everybody is following you and ready. Awesome. That's a lot of there, by the way. <laughs> I love it. I see it. That was fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, cool. Oh, and quickly I'll answer. Someone says if Pinterest has changed and we can't see likes anymore. 
it's okay. Even if you can't see the likes, you can still get ideas for funny phrases that make sense. Even on Google Images, you can't um, see which ones are the most popular, but you can see which ones would make sense for a mug. Okay, so here on step two, we're going to go over how you can make a great design. And when I say great design, I do not mean a masterpiece. I'm gonna start showing you some of these products that sell, and you'll see that by great, I just mean follow the steps we just went over. Um, here you go. Here's a, a quick image of some of the text-based designs that do really well. In the back, I took a screenshot of some of Amazon's best-selling mugs at that moment, and I just blacked out some of the cursed ones. But you can see here, a lot of these are just text-based mugs. The thinking here is that we're going for mass market. And so the more kind of elements that you put on a product, if you have lots of colors, you put images, whatever, every single new thing that you put on the product gives people another reason not to like it. So when you're using very simple black text on a white mug, it's hard for people to not like that. You know, it's, it's pretty inoffensive. All you need are the right words. Here's an example of, so I mentioned I have my system, we have a Facebook group for it, and someone was posting in there, she said, guys, it's hard to believe that I searched for the number one novelty coffee mug, and this is what I got. So this is just a regular black mug and it says meh on it. Again, all you have to do is make people smile and it can be that simple. Here are some other examples of things that are all very simple and they still provide people with exactly what they wanna buy. So someone might be searching for something like funny beard mug or drummer mug or dog dad gift or something like that. These, are, these take approximately like three seconds to create, yet they make awesome presents for people who wanna get gifts for people who have these kinds of passions. Here is an example of a product that I sold. I did a search for some, something like funny boyfriend mug and I found a mug that said, you're the luckiest guy in the world. I would love to have me as a girlfriend or no, I would love to be dating me. And so in the spirit of kind of changing things up, like we were talking about, I made one for you're the luckiest dad in the world. I'd love to have me as a daughter. I'd love to have me as a son. And that did really well during Father's Day. And then it does really well during Christmas. And then it also does well through throughout the year. Obviously not as well as Father's Day and Christmas, but there's still birthdays, there's still just because gifts. Um, people see it and they think it's funny. And you can see how we can very quickly scale that to you're the luckiest mom in the world, grandma, grandpa, uncle, cousin. You can even do it across occupations. So you're the luckiest teacher in the world. I would love to have me as a student. This is one I've done, I did that does well towards the end of the year and also during the holidays, but a lot towards the end of the year when people are kind of moving on to their new grades. You could do you're the luckiest coach in the world, you're the luckiest client in the world. Another one, I do this for the money, said no policeman ever. I do this for the money, said no government worker ever. Or I do this for the respect, said no lawyer ever. You can see how these permutations kind of start to become endless and you can come up with all kinds of designs and products very quickly. So another one, my brain has too many tabs open. And so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways that you can create these designs very easily. The first one is with a, an app. We'll go over some desktop-based tools as well. But the first one is Word Swag. It's an app, I think it's $4.99 now. It's a one-off fee and it's fantastic. Here's a text message from my friend. She said, by the way, use that app. Literally made like 20 designs a day. It's amazing. It is very, very simple. I took screenshots from my phone because I'm not sure how to do a phone-based demo and I'll walk you through exactly how you can use it. The first thing you do is you open it and then you're going to pick transparent backgrounds. What we're going to do is we're gonna take text and then overlay it on different product images because we're gonna start selling different products as if we own the inventory, even though we don't. We're kind of creating things out of thin air. You'll, I'll walk you through exactly how this works. But first you click the transparent background and then there's gonna be something that says double tap me to change text. So you double tap that and then you put in whatever type of text you wanna put in. For example, that you're the luckiest teacher in the world one. For here, I just put this is an awesome example. And then on the next screen, you pick whatever font you'd like to use. Now, if you were to keep scrolling to the right, you would see a lot of different options. I recommend keeping it really simple. I like, I think Mr. Keys is one of them. Um, I like to just have it very easily readable. 
but you have lots of options. And then you can hit the dice or the die um, within each font, and the fonts will change up. So you might have it facing vertically one way or um, diagonal another. I'll walk you through here. You can see something like this might be one font. You can go to another font. And then if you were to click the die from there, it might change to have it kind of in a different position. So you have that, you can put in the colors, even though I mentioned black text on a white mug in the beginning is definitely the best. You can scale up later. And then when you're done, you just hit save and then it says done, pick successfully saved to camera roll. Another tool that you can use is Pick Monkey. This one was free for a while. I think they still have a trial and then it's like a couple dollars a month. I'm gonna walk you through this and then I also have a free option that I'll walk you through. But um, this one that you could see someone said, uh, designs don't need to be super fancy, basically kind of just backing up what I was saying. Our top three sellers are text only and we're done using Word Swag or Pick Monkey. So the tool you just saw and then this one. Actually walk you out of the slides here and show you. Seems like I'm losing my voice a little bit, so I'm going to get another quick sip of water. Okay, in PicMonkey, you click Design. And again, we want to click Transparent Canvas, so just click that button there and then hit Apply. And then we're going to go over to Text. and we hit add text and then we bring up our design file so if we wanted to do like we'll just do this one even on a bad day you can still knit all i did here was copy this over i usually like to keep it simple ariel ariel black is perfect we'll do the ariel black here i'm going to center this maybe i do something like I keep it like that with knit on a new line. I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, and then I go back here, hit crop, and get it a little bit closer in. Hit apply, and then export, and that's it. We have our design. So I'm gonna save that. As I was saying before, you can go through and make tons of designs really quickly. So if I wanted this on a new line, boom, even on a bad day, you can still scrapbook and then we would have a design. So that took like just a couple seconds. Even on a bad day, you can still run. Okay, we have another one. Even on a bad day, you can crochet. And you can see once you get that initial phrase, which was crazy fast, you can take that one phrase and start to scale it across tons and tons of campaigns. Okay, so that's PicMonkey. Same kind of deal here with Pixplosion. Pixplosion is one that I created for actually people in the low hanging system because I wanted to make something that was super simple for them. This is a free tool and it works like, um, we'll just do keep calm to make it simple. You can choose from all kinds of open source fonts. We'll do Sigmar one here. You can make it, we're actually in the process of updating this to make it even better. Uh, but you can go keep calm, just move it around, you can center it. We'll do the same thing with the Sigmar and the black, and then center that, and then we can go and put in as many different things as we want. So if we wanted to do scrapbook, Put in that same font, change the color, center it, and then we have a whole new design already. We just hit save, download, and then that's saved. You could go in, change that to knit, center it again, boom, you have another one. And each of these will save into your saved design, so you can always go back and just change the word here, and then start it all over again and make a whole bunch from that phrase all over again. Okay, so many, many ways to very easily make designs in seconds.
really there's countless ways that you can get your designs. A lot of people ask me, can I start outsourcing the designs? What I usually recommend is that you don't start spending money on this until you're making profit. Keep it as simple as possible. It is so easy to make these designs. You can sit at the doctor's office and make a whole bunch of designs or on your whatever. I mean, there's lots and lots of times where you have a little downtime where you can start to come up with ideas. Every time I'm on a plane and we have to wait to take off, I have to go in airplane mode, I'll come up with another hundred or so designs. So to recap here, we want to start with a very simple word-based designs. We're not gonna do anything fancy yet. The simpler, the better. We don't wanna go for intricate and fancy. We're going for broad mass market appeal. Here's someone who's not even a native English speaker. Just to show you, I said, got my first sale, very surprised. My design's freaking simple, all words made by word swag. Actually, sometimes people ask me, if this system can work for people who live outside of the United States. And I say sometimes it's actually a benefit for you because you can't overthink it as much as sometimes when you're making these phrases if you don't have like 100% perfect English. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to get another sip of water here. You guys know the drill at this point. If you're ready for step three, if you found this helpful so far, then please type in yes. All right, got a ton of yeses. Hopefully that water is maybe got some honey in it for you. Keep your throat going for the presentation. Um, got a bunch of yeses, got a bunch of yeses. Hey, do me a quick favor. Just make me happy. Put a pop pop in there if you're, you're ready for step three. <laughs> is, is it going to lag or am I getting no love? Ah, oh, just a two second lag. Tons of pop. Yeah, pop. there's a little bit of a lag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I felt crickets for a second. I was like, mm, no feeling of love. All right, all right, go for it. Okay, step three. In step three, we are going to take our designs that we made extremely quickly, and we are going to put them on products. Now, the cool thing is each one design that you can design super quickly, you can put on all kinds of products. Here are some examples. These are just a few of the products you can find on Gearbubble. White mugs, necklaces, shirts, hoodies, tank tops, uh, pillowcases, posters. And so each one design that took three seconds to make now becomes 10 plus products. The products, as I mentioned, do really, they, they're really high quality. Here are some people who are using the system that talk about the reviews they get from them. So got a picture from a very satisfied customer, first review on Amazon, five stars, two five-star reviews on Etsy, one with a comment, perfect, another says super fast shipping, five stars in case you need uh, any reassurance about quality, just got this review, great packaging, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff here. So let me walk you through how you can take the design and put it on products and then start to sell them. You go into Gearbubble and then you click Launch Campaign Traditional. Now this site is free to use. Anyone can sign up and put their products on. There's some upgrades and stuff that you can use, but just to launch your product, you go into that Launch Campaign Coffee Mug and we'll hit Next Step. And in this section, we can do 11 ounce mugs, we could do 15 ounce mugs. So for here, I'm gonna do default style 11 and then also 15 ounce. We can do black mugs, we can do color changing mugs, pink, gold, silver, travel mugs. I'm gonna keep it simple here, but just so you know all the different options you have. Then we click upload design, upload graphic, and grab the one that we just saved. So we'll use this one from PicMonkey. I like to make it a little bit bigger, move it around a little bit, and then hit duplicate image on back. The reason I like to do that is because if you're a left-hander, you can still see the image on both sides. And then for base cost, usually I'll make it $14.95 uh, and $4.95 shipping, like charge extra for the shipping. Sometimes I'll do $19.95 with free shipping for 11 ounce mug, and then a couple dollars more for a 15 ounce. Okay, then we hit next step. and you put your campaign title, even on a bad day, you can still knit. You can skip all this stuff. Uh, for a URL, we just need to come up with some kind of URL where this image can be hosted. It really doesn't matter. You could put a whole bunch of numbers and letters if you want. Uh, I'll make this 14.95 black, uh, 15 ounce, 1695. Click, I've read and agreed the terms of service, and then launch campaign. This process is, and then when you're done, 
you start to have product images that you can use to sell on the different sites. We'll hit view your campaign here. And now we have these things that it looks like these real products have already been made, but they haven't been yet. And we can sell unlimited products without ever having to buy inventory. I'll show you how that works, but it looks like these have you know, been manufactured already, which is pretty cool. You just save the images. I'm gonna save them now so that I can show you later on how you can put these on Amazon. Okay, and then if we wanted to do the same thing for 15 ounce, we could go into there and then grab those images as well. Now, sometimes you can put your products on Gearbubble and you can make sales just from listing them in the marketplace. It doesn't happen all the time. I would say you'd still wanna put your products on Amazon, Etsy, and eBay, but it's pretty cool. It's just a nice little aside, it's got like gravy. You can see here, uh, laughing because it's a good problem to have. Didn't notice I sold a t-shirt, not expected. How does this happen? I launched a new mug, got an, a sale just now. It wasn't even through Amazon, it was through Gearbubble. Um, four sales from my Gearbubble store. Pretty cool. Okay, so what I would love to know so far is if this has been eye-opening for you. We still have a lot more to go through, but I'd just like to get some feedback in the meantime. Let me know if this has been helpful. I'm gonna get a sip of water as usual. <laughs> Everybody seems pretty pumped. You get a lot more yeses than I get pop pops, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> that's great, awesome, very practical and implemental. Thanks, Rachel, absolutely. People are pretty pumped and they, they love the simplicity of the strategy. Go ahead. Awesome, I love it. Yeah, it's all about keeping it as simple as possible. So I get a quick bonus sip of water. <laughs> okay. So, so far we have the products ready to sell and we're going to go through the rest of the system. So how it's going to work is I mentioned in the beginning that I have an offer for you at the end. We have an hour together and I still wanna explain steps four through seven. So what I'm gonna do here is kind of do two things at once. I need to find a better phrase than kill two birds with one stone, but I wanna um, do something where I can explain the offer at the same time as give you more content. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through steps four through seven and then also go over, as I'm doing it, the offer that is available for you. Whether or not you decide to invest, you still wanna make sure you're paying attention to every word. You're gonna learn the rest of the system so you can implement it. We're also going to walk through how to put a listing on Amazon. So far you have steps one through three, which is find your niche, make a great design, launch on, use Gearbubble. Use Gearbubble, Gearbubble are the same thing. And the next thing is we want to find sales getting keywords so that you can get found. What this means is we want to start looking for the types of words that people will be using to find your products. Because there's obvious ones, right? Like funny knitting mug. And then there's ones that are not so obvious, maybe like funny knitting mug for sister or funny knitting birthday present gift or something, or funny, uh, funny knitting birthday gift. You can see if you do a search on Amazon, you could do a search for mug for M and there's all kinds of permutations here. So we go over how to do that. The best tools for automating your keyword research, making it very, very simple. We go over how you can see how many searches per month there are for different keywords. So you can grab the best kind of low hanging fruit possible. You wanna go for ones that will get you sales. And this is the step that'll take your mugs from being hidden to going onto the top of the search engines. The reason why I like to do this before launching the products is because this step is so important for, as I said, being seen on the search engines that we don't wanna to have to go back and do any editing later because I like to make this as simple as possible and set it and forget it. So we get the keywords right in the first place, pop them into the title, launch, and then move on. So after we do that, we launch our products on Amazon. And what we go over in the course on this part is we go over how you can rank high on Amazon search engines so people can find and buy your items. When I say rank high, I mean, if someone does a search for funny knitting mug, how you can get your product to the top of that page. Learn to find where people would, uh, learn to find people who would love to buy discounted products to increase your sales ranking. Because you can't do incentivized reviews anymore on Amazon, it's against the rules. But you can do uh, discounted products where you give people product, uh, discounts so that you can have them buy your product. And what that does is it teaches Amazon that 
people want to buy your product. So it gives you what it's called sales velocity. And once Amazon sees people want to buy your product, then they start rewarding you by getting you in front of more people. So we go over how you can do that because it starts to snowball into more and more sales. How you can sell personalized mug, mugs. This is something that customers absolutely love. It really increases your perceived value. So you can have the price a lot higher than $14.95 on your products. Go over how to set up your accounts the easy way. So even if you don't live in the United States, you can still sell on Amazon. A lot of people are worried that you can't. You absolutely can. We go over an interview with an Amazon expert doing really well on Amazon. She gives lots of tips, different ways to use sponsored ads. I say all the time, like I barely know how to use these sponsored ads. You absolutely do not need to use them, by the way. Um, but if you want to, you can see here, I pulled a year-to-date sponsored ads. I spent $22.50. This is year-to-date on a monthly basis. It's much less. Um, 15000 in sales for that. And 14.9% of my ads went to profit. So obviously, if you had to spend $2,000 but could make back $15,000, it's a pretty nice agreement there. So we go over that and really a lot more in this section. And people have been doing really, really well with Amazon. Here's someone last night, we got our 5K badge. I love this because he was saying before he was between contracts, he was living on hot dogs, it's gonna be a steak night once he gets his payment. Uh, this one, Amazon 1,088 orders for the month of December. Here's someone from Thailand, he just started two months ago and he's had a screenshot showing that he's getting sales constantly. Okay, so I'm going to have another sip of water and then I'm going to walk you through how you can list your product on Amazon. Okay. To list your product on Amazon, you would go to sellercentral.amazon.com. And this is free to sign up. If you go to sign up normally, there's going to be a $40 a month option. You don't need to do it in order to be able to sell here. And of course, we go over how you can get the free link. I'm not sure off the top of my head how to do it, but it's possible somehow. Uh, then you go into, to create a product, you go to inventory and then add a product, which is this page here. And then we click on create a new product listing. We have to search for, and the reason why we're searching for our product listing, by the way, is because we just created a product out of thin air. We came up with that phrase we, by rewriting a little bit. We came up with our design, put it on the actual product, and it's something that didn't exist yet. So we go here to search for your products category. I just put in novelty coffee mug because it's the simplest way to find it. And then we search here in novelty coffee mugs for categories. And this is the category where our mug is gonna go. Now here for product name, usually you would have done your keyword research as explained in the course, and then you would put the keywords and the, the best title possible here in product name. For now, I'll just put, even on a bad day, you can still knit. And then for your brand name, you can put in whatever you want. I'll just put in bad day knits here. And I'm going to show you how you can put in a UPC code here in the course. You don't, we show you how you don't need to pay for UPC codes because it can start to get expensive. Uh, we go over how you can list pretty much unlimited products without ever paying anything for the UPCs. But for now, let me show you the UPC code here, product ID, and then you put in UPC. Then we go over here to offer. And the fulfillment channel, we can either do, I want to ship this item myself to the customer if it sells, or we can do, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service for my items. We pick, I want to ship this item myself because the beauty of this system is that you only ever have to pay for anything after you already make a sale. So we're selling these products, and after you make the sale, then, you can start to have it fulfilled for you. So we can't send it to Amazon in advance because that would mean we'd have to pay for inventory. And we don't want to pay for inventory. We want to keep it simple. For price here, I'll put in $14.95. Condition is new, quantity. I'm going to put in a bunch of nines because why not? We have unlimited inventory. We don't have to buy anything uh, in advance or anything like that. These can be made in unlimited quantities for us. Then we go over here to images. And this is where we upload the images that we've grabbed from uploading our design. 
So it's kind of interesting. You can see, we can sell these products that have never actually been made, make thousands of listings and never actually have to buy inventory, even really touch a mug. And that's it. You get a, um, a thing from Amazon saying that after the 15 minutes, your items will be up and ready to go. Okay. Now I walked you through just now how you could do all of that. We actually offer a Amazon integration as well. And the way that that works is you take your product that you just uploaded on Gearbubble. I'll actually walk you through real quick. And you go into your order dashboard, you hit the upload button, and then it usually, we just added a bunch of them. It says your product will be uploaded and it gets sent over to Amazon on your behalf. Then once you make a sale on Amazon, the customer information gets ported back into Gearbubble. It goes to the different fulfillment centers. They create your product for you, ship it to your customer, and then the tracking number gets sent back to Amazon on your behalf. So it's very hands-off and all you're really focusing on is creating your super simple designs. See someone here, uh, Gotta Love Auto Fulfillment, first order was November 1st, tracking number just now updated, just in time to be included to our next payment, hands-off revenue. So this is something I'll go into here in a little bit. It makes it even more simple. Otherwise, you just have to manually input the customer addresses and the tracking numbers and all that. And you'll have to make sure that you're around at least every day to put in the information. Totally doable. The integration certainly makes it a bit easier. Definitely make sure to look at the personalized mugs as well. This is something we go over in the course a bit because, as I mentioned, these have a really high perceived value. You could have a very simple mug that says something like, name here, loves rabbits. People can go and upload the name, you know, Rachel loves rabbits. And then they have a really personalized, thoughtful gift to give people. And you could make a lot more money for that. And it's very easy to make personalized products in Gearbubble. So we go over that. You can see here people saying, doing so well with custom mugs, just did two more. Uh, one sold, second one approved, another sale, another customized, five custom mugs and on and on. The next step is to launch on more sites. We started with Amazon and now there's Etsy, there's eBay, there's Bonanza, different places. Etsy and eBay are my second favorite and actually some people do better on Etsy than Amazon. We have lots of people that do really well. Here's someone he said uh, $54,992 net profit, that's take home pure profit, that he made for November through December, all but $9,500 of that was Etsy. Here's someone 100 sales on Etsy. Here's someone for eBay. He said $9,226, $9,226 for November. Someone $2,588 for the last 31 days. And I just wanna show you that you can get lots of success on these other sites as well. So what we go over in the course is how you can get your Amazon listings, if you start with Amazon, how you can import them into other marketplaces. Best practices for making as many sales as possible on eBay, Etsy, Etsy Shopify. Um, there is a video on, I actually met this person at a flea market around here. I randomly went one day and I saw a girl who was doing customized signs and I asked her if she ever sold them on Etsy. She said that she did and she actually had her college professor wanting her to teach a course because she does so well. And I was able to talk her into making a video for everyone in our course. So she goes over how she does that. Uh, there's tools that help you get feedback on eBay really quickly. We go over that. Really a lot more in growing. People are saying, here's someone that was using Etsy a lot. Someone says, is anyone getting sales without ads? Says, oh yeah, low hanging system. And he posted forever ago when he hit 100 orders. He's gotten way more since then. And you definitely want to make sure that you are posting on those sites as well. A lot of people focus on Amazon, but you can see lots of people getting all kinds of orders. I, just, I love some of you, like, open my Etsy store today, just got my first sale. That doesn't always happen. Uh, it happens sometimes. Uh, this one, happy day, just got one order on Etsy after I posted only four designs three days ago. And four designs took her probably a couple minutes max, and to already get sales in these places, pretty cool. And then, even more people doing really well. Okay. Quick, so what are next? Step seven is processing your orders. With the processing your orders, 
I like to say that when I first started marketing, one of the first things that I heard is that the amount of money that you make online is pretty much directly correlated to how many buy buttons you have out there, right? Like how many offers, how many opportunities you give people to purchase from you. And so if you are making these very simple designs over and over and over, it pretty much becomes inevitable that you're going to have orders to process because all we're doing is making these designs that are feeding people exactly what they want. And following the system, it works. So what we do here in this step is your orders, after you get them, they get submitted to Gearbubble. They, the designs that you have uploaded get printed and then put on your products. The products are then shipped to your customer from within the USA in a matter of days. Now they're shipped from within the USA, but they can go worldwide. So we have DHL International that we use. It can get, I say we because I own the warehouse that fulfills some of the products, the mugs, posters, pillowcases, and shot glasses. Actually, a lot of the time it gets to the worldwide um, customers even faster than some of the places in USA. You get a tracking number that you can either give your customers or if you have the integrations, which we'll go into here in a little bit, it'll be hands off. As I mentioned before, the products are high quality. We saw lots of reviews from people doing well. And generally, the products are shipped out pretty quick. I would say usually two to five days during Christmas. Understandably, it takes a little bit longer, um, but usually it's pretty quick. Here you can see Etsy customer ordered a mug on Sunday, Gearbubble shipped it on Monday. From there, after you go through the initial system, you can start to scale up if you'd like to. And what I mean here, and this is something, by the way, I don't really do too much. I had said before, this is something I do kind of for fun. This is, I have my other businesses that take up a lot more of my time, but if you start to see that you're in niches that are doing really well, and I like that you, I'd like to recommend that you throw spaghetti at the wall, go to tons and tons of niches. If you find that some are selling really well, then you can start to scale up. You can put your items in a Gearbubble Pro store, in a Shopify store. We go over in the course some apps that you can use to get more sales, how you can build a list, how you can start to bundle your items. And by bundle, I mean instead of selling just one mug, you can sell a mug and a necklace together, or a mug and a shirt together, a shirt and a necklace on and on kind of increase your order value. Monthly campaign strategies that you can do to uh, get sales coming in on a consistent basis from your list. Here's someone that I just love this one. She says she has to tag me because in the group, people usually don't tag me. Um, she says, my mug sales just paid for my tickets to a Stanley Cup playoff game. This is a dream for me. I'm not making bank yet, but enough for two possibly once in a lifetime experience tickets. I love you, Rachel. And she always undersells herself. She sells a lot, a lot, a lot. She does really, really well. Uh, you can also, if you want to scale up into more items, you can start to do that. So in the course, we have some products available that are not available on Gearbubble. Uh, you could see here some people, we have coasters. So she said, listed my first several sets of coasters on Etsy Saturday, had my first sale already. Uh, this one got a nice review on four coasters, because that's one of the, the products here, Amy. Um, Humble brag just sold 18 shot glasses to one customer. Shot glasses are now available on Gearbubble, but we listed them first for people in the course. Now, a lot of people will start to ask me, are mugs, like what happens if, if so many people are selling mugs? Is there saturation? And the answer is really no, for lots of reasons. I can go on to so many things, including the fact that you know, my sales are going every, every month. The fact that there are millions of people shopping on Amazon and all kinds of different niches you can get into. And the fact that there were hundreds of thousands of sellers before and all this stuff. But if you still don't, I mean, if you still have any kind of anything in your mind, you can also remember that some of these unique items that aren't available for other people are items that you're able to sell and have even more kind of competitive advantage. Now, here are some examples of other people just doing really well, 400 sales on vacation in California for 18 days, keep getting an average of five orders per day to my 100th mug sale, hit my 1K yesterday. Uh, Doug is, is a friend of mine. He actually just put up 35 products in the very beginning, 10 on Amazon, 25 on Etsy. And he was getting, this was in the very, very beginning. He said he was bringing in 75 to $100 pure profit a week, so 300 to $400 a month, just a car payment. Now he's making way more. I think if I remember, uh, I think he made eighty 
thousand dollars last year, like pretty passively. He has other businesses, but I'm not 100%, but I know it was a very, very up there, as you can see. Now, he had some good designs. Sometimes you need to put up more designs to be able to do well. I want to be totally transparent, but it happens either way. If you listen and you don't overcomplicate it, you can get really great results. And the cool thing is, too, that you can share with people in our group about you can ask questions. Other people are sharing what they're doing. I hear someone, she had made almost $10,000 in two days with a mug. And because our group is so helpful with each other, she posted some, I interviewed her, and then I posted it here. And then she also was around to answer questions. It's cool. She said, couldn't have done it without your training. So there's just to show you the good training in there. Uh, and then you can also, by the way, sell bulk items. Some uh, sold 50 mugs, sold 43 mugs, sold 25. Sometimes that happens through the marketplaces. Sometimes people just get used to the idea of the system and then start to kind of branch out a little bit. Here's someone, he had said that he had an idea to do a mug for a friend. With he, His friend was in a biker's club. So he put the biker club logo on a mug and then showed it to his friend, sold 23 of those pretty quickly. And it really, it just works. You know, it just works. So. I'm going to go into here uh, what your what the numbers are, how you can break down how much profit you're going to get here. Okay, one quick sip of water. We'll also go into what your investment for the course is. Now, to kind of explain what the investment is, I think that it's helpful for you to see what the bottom line numbers are, how much money you can expect to make per mug. So. For a $14.95 white mug, I'm going to give you the most conservative kind of numbers here. If you have an 11 ounce white mug and you sell that for $14.95 on Amazon, once you make your sale, you'll get $14.95 for the mug and then you'll also get $4.49 for shipping. You can set your shipping price if you have a pro Amazon account, otherwise it just keeps it at $4.49, totally fine. That means you bring in $19.44 of income. Then, of course, you have expenses. You have to pay 15% to Amazon anytime you make a sale, which is pretty, I mean, people start to complain about that, but to me, it's like, why? You had no sales before. You're only ever paying after you sell anything. So just make sure that you have the margin in there. You pay 15% to Amazon. And then to Gearbubble, you pay for the actual mug. You don't have to pay anything beforehand. You pay once you make the sale, $4.95 for the mug, and then another $4.95 for shipping. If you live, or if you're shipping to somebody who's international, the shipping is only $1 more worldwide. Okay, for expenses, and then you of course make more on the shipping when you sold it there. Expenses are $12.14. So you bring in $19.44, have 12, 14 in expenses, that's $7.30 profit margin per mug. Now, of course, you can charge more, you can sell black mugs, color changing, the personalized mugs, you can sell different products. But for that simple one, $7.30. Now, I pulled this to show you just my, my orders with a product name mug, so this is not including pillowcases, posters, whatever. That's 327 orders in the last seven days. And at $7.30 profit per mug, that's $2,387 a week, which is $9,548 a month at that trajectory. And I actually pulled this early in the morning. So normally it's over at five figures in profit. And this is all take home profit in non-holiday time. And I say non-holiday because this was pulled in March. And I pulled here on Google Trends, I did a search for buy mug just to show you. Here's March. You can see it's not very high if you look at the overall trajectory of what happens later on for like over here when we start to have the spikes for Christmas and different holidays. So 327 orders in really like six days and a little change, but we'll say the seven days uh, for all that in a non super busy time. As I mentioned, that's just the mugs. You can take the same design, put it on pillowcases, posters, necklaces, all kinds of things. Here is the picture reminding you of how you could take that one design and put it on endless different products. And of course, you can also, by the way, put more time into this than I'm, I am. So if we're looking in terms of investment to, to figure out like what would be fair, if we're doing even one month of profit, one month worth of profits in a non-busy time, 
I think 9,548 when you have 11 more months and busier months plus other years, that could be fair, right? I mean, it's not including Christmas. But that's actually not even, it's not anywhere near that and it's just for the training. So the offer that I mentioned that I was going to make to you, we still have some more to share with you here, but the offer is this low-hanging jumpstart done for you solution. And what it is intended to do is make it inevitable that you are able to succeed with the system. You see how simple it is. And now we're adding in everything that we can do to make sure that you just do everything you can to be able to make sales and really be really happy with your success. So the way it works is the first thing that you're gonna get to get you started is you get 100 done for you designs. What we do is everyone gets, you get 100 done for you, you get 100 completely unique designs. This is something that like you won't have the same designs as anybody else because I wouldn't want you guys to compete against each other. We would just go into different profitable niches and hand you designs that you can use and then put on different products. So this 100 designs ends up becoming over 1000 products because you can take that one simple design, put it on 10 plus products and then start to sell them. So you get a huge product catalog really quickly. You can either, by the way, request designs. So if you want them to be made for certain niches, we can do that, or we can give you random designs. And this alone is worth thousands of dollars to be able to have a product catalog ready to go without having to do much. Then it also includes, obviously, the trading that we went over, so all of the steps, and then different case studies. The case studies, we have lots of different things in the course from both studies that I've created and then that other members have added in there from when they've been getting lots of sales. One of the more popular ones is I went in last year, I explained how I made $54,000 in under a month with just one mug. We walked through exactly what the design was and how we were able to sell so much of it when it was a completely brand new item. There's a guy named Jacob who said he saw this case study and it really um, forced him to go into overdrive because he said he wasn't doing anything with it. And now he has huge months. He's doing really, really well. So this is a really good one. We have all kinds of things there. Uh, different software. So I showed you these already. SpotWins is the tool that goes through the different sites, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and finds out what's selling, ranks it by best selling. And then Pixplosion is that software I showed you where you can make designs very easily. There are tons of downloads in there, mock-ups that you can use. You can take images like this, for example, if you want to sell necklaces, and we have the image of the girl with the necklace and then the zoom in. You could put your products right in there so you have more different things to use to sell. SEO checklists, I love these pillowcase mock-ups. We have ones like these with kids all over, all kinds of things. We have a fantastic, fantastic Facebook group. And I feel like I can say that because, I mean, you just see, Here's someone I just wanted to comment. Never have I been in a group like this where so many take the time and effort to so generously share. Um, newbie super ditto, the best I found. I'm involved in several groups. This is the best. Um, big thank you to everyone for the help at all times and night. Best group I've been involved with. It's and then this one I really what will we do without this great Facebook group? No matter what comes up, there's help. The reason this Facebook group is so fantastic is we have a moderator in there named Carl who doesn't really sleep. He takes naps throughout the day. And so people will always say, no matter what time of night or day, whatever, they're getting answers. He's incredible. I'm so, so lucky to have him there. We're all so lucky. And um, this group is really helpful. So anything you need, you can ask your questions and make sure that you're good to go. We have different uh, spreadsheets and checklists to help make it kind of inevitable. I like to ask, how can we make it inevitable that you succeed? So different things for your top five action steps. You can have goals to make your design goals, um, like calculators to make those. If you want to outsource this later on after you prove it, we have that. Different stats, I went in exactly what sold the best for me throughout 2017, which products, which phrases, all of that. And then it also includes the integrations. We went over the Amazon integration before. This is something that is normally for the unlimited plan, $97 a month, which is $1,164 a year. And what this does is you go in and you take your product that you put on Gearbubble, press the button, have it sent over to Amazon. Once you make your sale on Amazon, the information gets sent back to Gearbubble, the product is made and shipped for you. The shipping tracking number gets sent back to your customer, it's hands off. This is $997, or sorry, $1,164 a year normally, something that people actively pay for. 
and you are going to get it for lifetime as a part of this offer. This is a really incredible deal. I hear since I love this Amazon interface, 14 orders arrived this morning automatically, pilot shipping confirmation sent out, I didn't have to lift a finger. So all you have to do is focus on the designs. You just auto fulfill, you don't have to hire an assistant or anything like that. Lifetime, I mean that adds up pretty quick at $1,164 a year. Plus, you can, we also are including the Gearbubble Dropship Program. This is something that is $997 a year. I call it real world value because it's something that people actually pay for. I know a lot of times people will give these inflated numbers on things are worth you know, $63 million or something, but people actively pay $997 every year for this. And this is, you know, normally you'd have to pay an extra dollar per product to use the Dropship Program. And now you're gonna get for life, you will never have to do that. You can use this program with, if you're entering in products manually, if you're synced into Shopify, you never have to pay per product fees, you don't have any product limits, you can use it with as many products as you want, and lifetime for this too. So $997 a year, you get forever. You also get a lifetime eBay integration, which works the same exact way as the Amazon ones. Press your, your button, Automatically your item goes into eBay and then it gets fulfilled order numbers tracked right back to your customers There is also a never before seen never seen before bonus Which is something that people have been asking for for forever and that is a lifetime Etsy integration this one is super long awaited and it's going to be $297 a month. Actually, it's, it is $297 a month. The sales page is out there and people have been signing up for it already. That's $3,564 a year. It costs more than Amazon because the Etsy integration has been even more difficult to build. And I can't stress enough how much people have been asking for this. You can see uh, Getsy, yeah, Gabriel Etsy integration should be done. Um, there was talk of Etsy integration. I'd like to know how it's going. When should we expect to see an uh, Etsy integration? I'd love to see Etsy integration. Any updates on everyone has been wanting this so much. And so to be able to offer it at all is incredible. But lifetime, when it's $3,564 a year, is a really phenomenal deal here. Um, Again, you don't have to pay for your assistant or anything like that. And I've been finding that newer sellers do even better on Etsy than on Amazon. You also get $100 in Gearbubble credits. You can see we're really stacking on the value here. And how this works is, I mentioned that after you make a sale, then you would pay for the mug, right? So if you make a sale on Amazon or Etsy or eBay, then after that, you would go into Gearbubble, pay the $4.95 for the mug, $4.95 for the shipping, and then it would get sent out for you. Well, now your first $100 worth of sales are on the house. You don't even need to pay for them. You send out your mugs, collect the profits. This is an obvious you know, $100 real world value because it's what people pay all the time for their mugs. So to go through your investment here, if we're trying to figure out what a fair investment would be, so far you get 100 done for you designs, which creates a catalog for you of 1,000 plus products. It's worth thousands of dollars. Then you have the training, the case studies, all that stuff. My one week's worth of profits I had wrong here. It's whatever it was, 3,000 something. We have the different integrations that you get for life. The integrations alone are $6,049 a year, which ends up to being five figures worth of value really, really fast. Because even if you just do two years of these integrations, that's over $12,000 just on the integrations, not counting your thousand plus product catalog. So it's a lot of real world value. And you don't have to pay even two years of integrations or half of that or even half of that your investment is only one time $2,000, one single payment, which is really a phenomenal value when you go over everything that you're getting. And I'm actually not even done yet. But if you're already pumped and ready to go, you can go here to the link below, sign up, uh, done, or please stick that in the chat so everyone can see it. And you can sign up right now. But there is actually, even despite all of that value, there's even more. There's some really fantastic things here that we haven't even gone into. The first thing is my Spot Niches software. This is something that I had originally built for, I was originally gonna give it out and then I just fell so in love with it. I was going to keep it for myself and then finally I decided to stop being greedy and um, share it with some people. 
This tool is ridiculous. It looks really simple, but it's something that costs thousands of dollars to create. I couldn't believe it, um, but it's been really, really tough to make. Let me actually walk you through how awesome it is and what it does. Okay, so how it works is you put in a keyword that you want to uh, get, or like a general kind of phrase that you want to get some ideas for. And what it does is it will search to see how many items or how many, for all the kind of permutations of that phrase, it'll look to see how many searches that phrase gets each month. And then it'll look at the number of results on Amazon. We also have it for eBay and Etsy coming, by the way. And then you can click opportunity here and it'll sort it out by which items have the highest, I call it opportunity percentage, meaning they have the most searches with the fewest results. I've used accountant as my example before, so now there's less, but you can see accounts payable mug right now, 3,000 searches a month, only 315 results. So that gives a pretty good opportunity ranking. I did another one here for lawyer gifts, click on opportunity, and goodbye gift lawyer, 100 searches, 128 results. We actually have some better ones here. Let me do something like nurse mug. Uh, it takes a second sometimes for the bigger keywords because it goes through all these different permutations. So what I usually like to do is have a bunch of tabs open at once and then have it so that I just run all my searches and then come back and click the opportunity percentage. But normally I'll run a search and you could find like 30 plus keywords that are really good to start creating designs for. You can, or you can either use them in your titles or you can create designs for them. Like if you see bar gift lawyer is a good one, then you could create a design for that. Okay, so we can walk you through back again. Normally this is like tons and tons of results. Oops, so you also get, go back here, 90 days of weekly Q&A calls. And with these, every week we have a webinar, we switch up the times because I want to accommodate for everyone around the world since we have people for all, from all over signing up for this. Uh, and you can send in your questions in advance if you can't make it. We have replays, transcripts, all of that. And anything that you need in order to succeed with this, you can ask. I'll give you full transparency question answering. And this is something that I offered a jumpstart before. And a lot of people have asked if we could offer this as a paid program because it's so helpful. Lots of people say the answers are really like, and I'll stay on pretty much as long as we need. So sometimes it can be longer, usually after a couple of weeks, people start to just get it and they start just being busy making sales. But um, this is very, very valuable. You also get something that is, I don't know if it's the lifetime integrations that are the most valuable or this part, probably the lifetime integrations, but this is where you can pay for the course, pay for the entire thing right away. And I'll walk you through how. But what this does is, normally, you saw when I walked you through creating an Amazon listing. We normally click the button that says, we're going to send the mugs to Amazon as they're made. But you're gonna get five boxes of free mugs so that you can actually take these mugs and send them directly to Amazon ahead of time, which is going to help you have the prime label, this label right here, on those particular listings. When you have the prime level, of course it's going to help increase your sales because people see prime and they see they get fast shipping. This is something, and a mug is normally $4.95. So you're gonna get a box, each box is 36. You'll get five of those. So you're gonna get 180 mugs, which is $891 worth of, again, real world people pay this value. We can help you find the best designs. Either you have existing designs, if you wanna use those, awesome. If not, you can take the 100 designs that we've given you and we can pull your designs from there. We put your designs on the mugs and then ship them to Amazon for you. Now here is the prime button, so you can see what it is. Uh, people would just be able to see that and then know that they can get fast shipping. That's what prime means to you. Now here's how this can pay for the entire thing. When you send your mug to Amazon, normally I like to do $19.95 for my prices for the FBA mugs and then the free shipping because if someone has the prime label, they get the free shipping if they have prime, which many people do. They're, you're gonna have fees. $5.98 are the fees for FBA. Sometimes they vary up and down, but I took a conservative one and you would be paying $5.98 for that. You'll be paying another like, we'll say 28 cents for shipping your mugs to Amazon. So for fees alone, you would have $6.20. 
right? So you are selling your mug for $19.95 and then you have fees for $6.20, which means your profit for each mug is $13.75. So when you look at the $13.75 profit per mug times 180 mugs, your net profit, what you take home, is $2,475. That pays for everything. So then everything else that you're getting, the integrations for everything, the, the $100 in credits, the 100 done for you designs, which you can make to 1,000 plus credits, all of it, it's all just extra. So this is really a spectacular, spectacular deal. It really is. You can see you the $12,000 in integrations for two years, you get it for lifetime. And then everything else is just extra kind of padding on the cake. So you can sign up below. So here is everything that you get. There is a ton of value. We're gonna quickly run down everything in this spectacular offer. First, you get the 100 done for you designs, which makes 1000 plus products. You will have an instant product catalog ready to go. You'll get the low hanging system training. You will get all of the case studies included with that, including the 54K Mother's Day one. You'll get the spot wins research tool so that you can very effortlessly search lots of different products across lots of different stores and see which ones are selling the best. You will get Pixplosion, that software that helps you create designs in seconds. You'll get all the downloads to do everything we can to help you make as many sales as possible. You'll get the Facebook group, which so many people say it's the best one they've been involved with and in many ways really can pay for all of this itself just to be able to have that immediate feedback with all of your help, with all of your questions. We have all of the checklists and spreadsheets to help you get organized. We have the lifetime Amazon integration. This is a really big deal. People are paying for this actively, $997 a year. And you'll be getting it for the rest of your life. You get the lifetime use Gearbubble integration, which you can use with Shopify or Gearbubble Pro, whatever. You will get the eBay integration. You'll get the Etsy integration. All of these integrations for life is over $6,000 every single year after two years you're in the five figure range a hundred dollars in gear bubble credits you get 90 days of the software here where you can find a very easy you can see here actually in the screenshot what it normally looks like you put in the keyword and then you see all these different things this one has for example tax accountant 3200 searches a month only 2500 results this one 2000 searches a month only 59 results 900 searches a month, only 11 results. There are lots of great opportunities out there that you can find. The 90 days of weekly Q&A calls. So anything that you need to know, anything stopping you, or if you want me to critique your products, or just kind of, I know sometimes you don't know what you don't know, so you get to ask or hear other people's questions. You have all of that. You have these five boxes of free mugs that will get sent to Amazon for you and can pay for all of this right away. Here's everything, guys. I'm putting this all in one slide so you can see this is a ton of value. It, like, there are so many different elements of this that pay for the entire thing with just that particular element. And this stacks and stacks and stacks. We have thousands and thousands of testimonials. I will actually walk you guys through it here in a second if you want to see just how many there are. But here are just some people. Here's and then there are also people, by the way, I mentioned I did a jumpstart program before. You can see that people did really well. Someone says, I'm very, very grateful for this program. At that point, he had sold out of three boxes of FBA mugs, but he would have sold out more before Christmas for sure. So it seems every time I check the app, another unit is sold. This person, I sent in five cases to FBA. That's Amazon, where you're shipping for the prime label for those five boxes of free mugs. All unproven designs, just about sold out. Uh, this one with that tool that I was showing you, SpotWins, I'm freaking awesome. I found more than 50 good keywords. I said I pretty much bought this just for the software. The rest is gravy. Lots and lots of people having their mugs pay for the course. We had somebody here who said she emailed me personally. She didn't want to say it publicly, but she was not sure if she wanted to join. She said, I was lamenting over the decision to invest $2,000 into your program uh, because she had $6,300 bill that she needed to pay pretty quickly. And she was afraid if she spent money, we should just be taking away from that bill. Well, she ended up taking the mug money that she made. She did join the Jumpstart. She paid off her bill of $6,300.
And that was just for the bill. She still made money beyond that as well. So that was really cool to see that she was able to do so well that quickly with this. We have someone else saying it was a really great experience. She's glad that she did it. All of them like she had on FBA, she either sold them out already or knew that they will. The reason she didn't know is because she puts even more, uh, she sells even more on there. She does really well. She said the webinars were very helpful. She created almost 500 new listings. The spot wins tool was really helpful for her. Here's someone who sent a really big email. I tried to condense it as much as possible, but he says, before the program, I'd sold zero dollars on Amazon. We'll pay the investment in the program many times over. And he went through and talked about how he made sales. And then he, so this is one of the few times I told, I just followed what I was shown to do. And what do you know? It works. He asked if we could keep selling spot niches because <laughs> everyone loves it. Uh, the program itself had no flaws for me, all delivered or over-delivered, fantastic customer service from Stephanie and Kim. And again, here is everything that you get, tons and tons and tons of things. People say, wow, I put my uh, eight months yesterday, just now got a sale, spent this weekend going through most of the program. I just got my first sale. Basically now she has to go through the training. Um, people just sold a mug that I sold last night. Thanks for adding me, jumped on, third day, sold three mugs at $5 profit each, haven't even gotten into the training yet. This may be my favorite testimonial ever, so it's got my first sale, I'm not sure how I did it. All I did was sit back and pray about it to get a sale. What do I do next? How do I handle the order? Which is of course included in the training, but he just, I guess, sold before he even finished it. I picked up the low hanging last night, watched training videos late into the night, created first campaign early this morning, made first sale before noon. Lots and lots of value here, guys. And I will keep this slide up unless you have questions to that take me out of it. But again, so many of these little sections pay for everything for the entire course. And actually, you know what? I'm going to quickly go through. I keep a file of the different screenshots from people when they're saying that they're doing well. And this is called my LHS wins. Actually, what I was doing was I was putting it in a book. We had like a coffee table book that we were going to use to give to people who are doing well. And so we have that like a mindset section I put in here first. And then we took some of those screenshots and we started putting it in this book, which is really fun. But we have here, I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on. You could see, I'll scroll down if you see my cursor up here, as I scroll down, how it just barely moves because we have so many testimonials um, here like, and most of these are based on making sales. So here are some that I wish from people's results, but let me scroll down. Okay, made my first sale, first Amazon sale, going awesome, another Amazon sale. I mean, my internet can't even like, keep up with all of this. Um, she says, thankful for LHS made at least 11 sales. She's made way more since then, like multiple five figures. I actually met up with her in London and she's doing incredible. This is just like, it goes on and on. This is from the very beginning. It goes from the beginning to the most recent. And you can see here, this cursor is barely moving. We have so many people. Sold another first Amazon sale. Uh, it works, would have never thought of it, $815. Um, sold my first mug, sold four mugs since Saturday. I'm a little surprised, definitely believe things are about to pick up. Uh, Amazon order with the Amazon integration that she just got. I mean, it's on and on. And I'm showing you this because I don't want you to think that I'm like plucking a few testimonials or something. These are all different names that are doing well. So many people posting. And it also speaks to the value of the Facebook group and how comfortable people are with sharing. So that is, you guys can see that. Let me uh, go back over here. Okay, now let's start going into your questions. So we have a lot of questions here. Please put in QQQ before your question if this is something that has not yet been answered. Rachel, real quick while you're letting those questions come in, I just wanna do a real quick recap on some of the pieces of the offer that I think are really valuable. So me, obviously I've spent all the time and money developing these integrations and I know how much they're worth and I know how much people pay for them. The integrations alone that we have in this offer are incredible. People pay monthly, people pay yearly, 
This is the only time we've ever offered lifetime integration to all of our integrations. And it's the only time we will ever, ever do it. We won't do it again after this promotion, period, end of statement. You will never see lifetime again. And the reason why is it took us like six months just to build Etsy. And if we knew how much Etsy cost to build in the first place, we probably wouldn't have built it. That's how much it costs to build. So you'll never see lifetime again. And it's not because you can make a million dollars in Etsy. It's because just for us to build and make that integration, it costs us a ton of money. So this is the only time you'll ever get it. If you want to do Etsy later, you're going to have to pay. And the cheapest thing to pay for on Etsy is 97 bucks a month. So I highly recommend that you get it now. So the, the lifetime on all those integrations is easily worth it. Now, the second big piece here that I want to talk about, the lifetime integrations is crazy, is the five boxes of free mugs. Now, Rachel's touched on it before, but you've got to make the, the mathematical equation here. I make like $12 per mug. $12 and she sends 180 mugs out there. I don't know what the exact breakdown of that is, but that's well over $2,000 and you can charge more. That's what I charge. So that's not inflated. That's not really weird or some awkward situation. That is the exact amount I charge for mugs. If you just sell the boxes, which a lot of people do, if you just sell out the boxes, do nothing else. Don't show up to the coaching calls. Don't use the integrations. Don't do anything else. You're going to make money. Do nothing else. And a lot of the boxes are going to sell for you because Rachel's team makes them. And if you let her do the designs for you, they're done by a proven team that knows exactly how to rank them in the search engines, knows how to design them in advance for that. So if, if they get the designs, you put them up there and you just sell the mugs and the boxes alone, you're going to make money. I just wanted to point out those two pieces alone because to me, that's, that's the two big pieces. Never have to pay a fee, never have to pay for integration ever again. Make money just selling the boxes and mugs if you don't even do anything. And then you get credits, you get all kinds of tools. And that's just like, to me, it's just extra jazzy bonus. And that's not even talking about the designs. So I just wanted to cover those two pieces while Rachel goes into the questions and I'll let her take back over because I just, I want you to understand I really feel this is the most valuable offer we've ever created. Lifetime will never be around again. But I was just recapping, like Rachel probably did, the lifetime, the only time you'll ever get it, sell the mugs, you make money. Everything else is just gravy to me. Go ahead. Okay. Let me open up these questions here on the other screen so I can see everything. Again, please just put in QQQ in front of your question so that if um, – it may have been answered already. There's just so much in here. Okay, someone says, can you explain the integration? Yeah, so the way that the integration works is you come up with your phrases, make the designs, put them on the Gear Bubble products like we walked through. So the whole process, very, very easy and quick. And then you go into Amazon or your Gear Bubble and you find your product and then you just hit upload. And then the product will upload within, usually within a few hours and then it'll get ported over into Amazon for you and then or eBay, Etsy, Shopify, whatever you're using the integration for. And then every time you make a sale, all the information from your customer, the shipping address, the design that they bought gets sent into Gearbubble. They create the product for you, ship it directly to your customer, and the tracking number gets updated automatically. So it's like hands-off income for you. And this is, these integrations, normally $6,000 a year, you would pay for them individually. And I've shown you how people have been able to, they would pay them off pretty quickly, but you're going to have them for life after. So this, even after two years, it would be over $12,000 you would pay, but you're going to get those for life. It's a really fantastic value. Okay. Uh, yes, Gearbubble can integrate with Amazon.ca and .co.uk. Uh, there is currently not a payment plan because there are so many hard costs with this. Because if you look at this, we have the five boxes of free mugs that are like real hard costs. The designs we have to pay for the designers on. The $100 in Gearbubble credits, those are real things that buy, you know, more hard goods. The integrations have a lot of costs. So that is why. Um, there is not currently a discount for people who already own the low-hanging system. We are toying with different things that we can do to kind of make it like to do something extra special for you guys. As of right now, there's not a discount. Um, the spot 
WINS1 is not available for uh, anywhere to answering these questions. It's not available anywhere else. Neither are, is spot niches. So you wouldn't be able to get it uh, for the person saying she missed the start, that have missed the start. The mugs that are being sent to FBA, they're not blank. They have your text already on them. So you choose the five designs. You can do one design, two, three, four, five. You have five boxes. All five boxes, the same one design, it's up to you. And then they get sent to Amazon with the designs already. And then customers can click the button, buy it, and then have it in their house in the next day or two. Okay. Um, someone says, I'm interested to get this. My question is, do we have to pay $40 for Amazon Seller Central Pro account? Um, no, you don't have to pay. It's optional. You can do the basic account. The $40 Pro account pays for itself pretty quickly because you really only need, we talked about how you can make $7.30 on a conservative 11-ounce white mug. So if you got even five sales a month, then that would pay for it and everything else would be gravy. But you don't need it. There's a way to bypass it, which we go over in the course. And then uh, for Etsy, you can get your first 40 listings for free. We go over how to do that. And then after that, it's 20 cents per listing. There's no monthly fee. Um, yes, for the person who already signed up, first of all, congratulations and thank you. And you should get a welcome email with all of your login information. Okay. Um, Q, Q, Q. Hugh, can you show spot niches? Yeah, let me walk you through back. That is the tool here that I was saying you put in your main keyword, for example, nurse mug, and then all of the different permutations come up. It goes and it sorts by number of searches. So it will look for each of these keywords to see how many searches each of the keywords has. And then it goes into the number of Amazon results for each of these keywords. So some of them might have you know, not very many Amazon results at all, but a lot of searches. And so then you can find the high value keywords. All you do here is you sort by opportunity percentage twice, and then you'll start to see the best keywords with the highest chance of making sales. For example, here, nurse practitioner mug, 12,100 searches a month, only 283 results. Now, some of these are because there's a lot of people who are misspelling some of these keywords, and you can just put the misspelled keyword in your actual title and then make sales from that. This one, fertility nurse mug, 600 people are looking for that every single month. There's only 21 results. This one, 1,100 searches, 343 results. So you, it's just an awesome tool. It's really addicting. I can spend such a long time on this because usually I'll see this, for example, nurse mug, and then I'll see something like nurse superpower mug. So then I'm looking for a superpower mug or superpower gifts or mentor gifts. And you just find zillions and zillions of things that you can create products for that are profitable or have high potential to be profitable. Okay. After the spot niches membership is up, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do after. Uh, you don't get automatically charged or anything like that. And we'll let you know, we'll stay in communication about it. But there's no extra monthly fees or anything that you have to pay. This is a one-off payment. Okay, so it says, how long does it take to set everything up? So it's pretty easy to set things up for people who have zero experience, inside the course we have a quick start training. And that is about 90 minutes worth of content. Some of it's optional. And I recommend that everybody goes through that training if you're new. And after that, there's a ton of stuff in the membership area that you can go through. There's a lot of supplementary information. But I wanted you to be able to kind of just get the easiest um, kind of path of least resistance to get going. So I would say definitely make sure you have 90 minutes for that. The videos are able to be sped up. I know most people <laughs> slow me down, but you can speed them up, slow them down, whatever. And then there's transcripts. And once you go through that, then you have the foundation for everything you need to list your products and stuff. And the training, by the way, is set up where there's lots of little videos so that you can point and click to whatever you want. You don't have to go through and watch long rambling videos. I like to kind of create things based on the way that I use them. So we have lots of point and click videos, we have transcripts, and it's very much based on what will help you the most. Okay, let's see here. 
uh, the Etsy stores. If you have more than one Etsy store, this gives you three Etsy stores. So you can, I mean, what you would pay $3,564 a year for, you'll get not only for life, but for three different stores. Um, we do not have a UK warehouse, but we ship from the United States worldwide. And because we have DHL International and they're so well set up for international items, do really like they get there pretty quickly, especially the UK, Europe area. Okay. Let me see, we answered some of these. Yes, absolutely. You can already do this if you have low hanging system. This is supplemental. So consider it like a competitive edge that you have low hanging system already and you've already know. I mean, either way, you're going to have the training, but think of it as like now this is extra um for you to really utilize what you got so excited about and make it inevitable that you succeed. Okay. For the UPC exemption codes, yeah, it's all explained inside low hanging system. We have all the training and stuff in there. Uh, for the 100 random designs, so the way that it works is you get, we have like in the spirit of wanting to make things as easy as possible for people, I had created a master list of different niches that people could get into. And this, like, can just show you just how much opportunity there is, how many things that you can get into. This is what 62 pages of different niches that have buyer based traffic. Now, some of them are a little more obscure, but some of the obscure ones are great because nobody else goes into them. Some of them are more general. You can see we have a bunch of people using it right now. And what they do is the designs are based off of these keywords. Now, if you want to create the um, keywords yourself, if you want to use spot niches, find these things like nurse practitioner mug, fertility nurse mug, and give us a list, we could totally do that as well. So either option is totally okay, and you will all get completely unique designs. Okay. Let's see here. Do you have a bottom line you use to qualify that certain key category? No, I don't. I don't look for, I don't want to make it any more complicated than it needs to be. I just use the tool. If it has a opportunity percentage of 0.75 or more, then I just create the product because it's so easy to come up with these designs. You saw how fast it is. I just would rather do that versus spend time kind of overthinking it. Someone says transcripts. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I generally prefer reading over videos myself. So um, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I created the course in the way that I like to consume the courses myself, not kind of what's easiest for me. I see people complaining on Facebook because they go through these really long rambly videos where presenters are coughing and having side conversations and they never bother to edit. It takes forever to go through. And I'm very much like, let's get to the point, which hopefully you saw through this training. I like to simplify it, make it as easy as possible. Okay, so this is, I'm based in Germany. Will I be able to sell on Amazon EU or Amazon Germany if I get all these integrations? Yes, and you can sell on amazon.com. If, <clears throat> Excuse me, if you have already have a Seller Central Pro account, that's great. You can um, just use that account for your integrations. You can't have more than one account unless you actually ask Amazon and ask or write to them and get their permission. That's like the one thing that they have no tolerance on is having multiple Seller Central accounts. So just write in, ask them, and you have to make sure that both of your accounts are not selling the same kind of thing or just put it all on your existing account. That's what I did when I started. Okay. Um, in terms of gear bubble quality, yeah, there are a lot of fantastic reviews. I walked through a bunch of them. Of course, you always get cr cranky customers every once in a while, but for the most part, the reviews are really, really good. We have very high quality products. I know for the warehouse that I own, the mug facility, we have the highest grade mugs, the highest grade ceramic mugs. We use the highest grade ink. We ship in these fantastic mailers that have a 0.07% break rate. I've had arguments about these mailers because um, people are saying that we need to cut our costs, but these mailers, they're like, they're perfect. They're recyclable foam, you stick the mug in, you close it, and then you tape it up. It fits around the mug perfectly. And I know using that versus the cardboard, cardboard breaks so much. 
so the, the these foam mill, I mean, they're just awesome. We get all kinds of people commenting on the packaging and stuff. So we have very high quality stuff. Our pillowcases are super soft, microfiber. They're very vibrant. This isn't like, you know, cheap, cheap stuff at all. Okay. In Amazon, do you go back and edit bullets and descriptions since integration mainly just does title? No, you know, I think you could if you wanted to, but I don't think that adding bullets and descriptions and all that is in the 80-20 of, like in the 20% of what gets the 80% of results. Now in the course, we do have copy and paste templates if it was important to you. Uh, you could even actually put in the description inside Gearbubble while you're uploading it and then press it over and it would import. You could do the same thing with your keywords. Um, however, I think as long as you have a great title, you're really good to go. I would just focus most of your time on great titles and creating great designs. Sarah, awesome. Congratulations and welcome. Um, gee, once you buy the program, how do you update the existing uh, gear bubble if you've got plans? So you'll get an email going over exactly how to redeem your bonuses. You will uh, just take your receipt, forward it to seller at gearbubble.com, and then they will upgrade your account, get you all the lifetime integrations, the $100 in credits, and then everything else we walk through, how you can start to redeem your designs, your mugs. As soon as you sign up, you'll get automatic um, access into low hanging system, the case studies, the downloads, Pixlosion, and you'll get emails on how to do everything else. Okay. For this one, what happens if customers claim their mug is broken? We cannot ask for a photo as FBA simply accepts returns. That's a good question. Okay, so if you shipped an item yourself, or sorry, if you shipped an item fulfilled by merchant, which is the way that I showed you when we were listing the mug, where it's I will send this item out myself then and you're only selling it out once you make the sale you ask for a photo of the mug the customer shows you and then we'll send it out for you and you don't have to pay anything else it's just like on us basically if amazon if you send your mugs to amazon and then they break the mug which they do often because they don't have our packaging well, there's two things one if you wanted to use our mailers when you send them to amazon we could do that for a small surcharge a lot of people have been wanting to do that or you can have amazon package for you and you just write to amazon once they break the mug and they'll reimburse you because it's their fault awesome so this one it does not coming up with a name um, but it says that they just signed up congratulations and welcome and thank you Okay, if you have more questions, hit QQQ. I am going to quickly scroll through here, see if I can find everything else or anything else. So let me close out this little box here. Okay. In terms of earning your investment back, I had mentioned that even if you just look for the FBA mugs alone, the mugs that we're going to ship to Amazon for you, the math works out because you ship your mugs to Amazon for $19.95. The way it breaks out after all the fees that you're making, I think it was $13.85 per mug, or 12, I don't remember exactly what it was, but times 180 mugs, you make 2,400 and change, pure profit. So you basically get paid an extra $400 just with the mugs alone. That's not counting the fact that you have a thousand plus products in your catalog, that you have five figures and in integrations for life that people are paying for every single month. The course, I mean, finding these really valuable keywords on spot niches. You can start to see how it really adds up very quickly that you can be able to get your investment back. Now, I don't like to guarantee anything. I don't know how hard you're going to work. I don't know if you're going to overcomplicate it, which is like the biggest problem, people overcomplicating it. But I designed this to, in a way where I could feel extremely confident about the value of this program. And I am. I'm very, very confident. I think that it offers a ton of really great value and many different kind of entry points with which you can earn your investment back. Okay, let me see how much time will I need. So the amount of time that you're going to spend on this is really going to be up to you. And I say that because if you want to just focus on sending in your mugs and making the sales on that, awesome, everything else is extra, right? you can kind of guilt-free ignore everything else because you've already made your return on investment. From there, if you want to go through the weekly calls every once in a while or just when you have a question, you want to send in questions, no problem. 
there's really no kind of right way. The only thing that I say for sure is take the 90 minutes, go through the quick start training, and it's not one long video, it's a few different videos, one of them is optional, and be on the even playing field. That's all I really kind of require. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going in here. Designs are text-based because that's what sells the best for me. We're not going to put images on there. As I was saying earlier, um, if you have images on your products, it basically gives people a reason to not want to buy your product because they might not like the image. They might not like the colors. They might not like that it's a cartoon or that it is a cartoon, whatever, whatever. Um, black text, white mugs always do the best. And so that's what we focus on. You get PNGs. Let's see here. Can you take the same design and put it on Amazon, Etsy, and eBay? Absolutely. Do we provide the mug design on the 180 or are they done for us in advance? It's up to you. You can do either one. You can have us pick four out of five. You can have us pick all five. You can pick all five. You can whatever kind of whatever one you want to do is totally fine. If you want us to do the, provide the designs, then we'll help you figure out like your top 20 and then we'll go through and choose from there your best ones with you. Okay. Uh, Susan, sure, she says, can you address copyright issues? So what we're doing is we are, I mean, there's a couple different things to say about this. First, we're not just lifting other people's designs or something. We're going and we are uh, rewriting things. We're changing it up a little bit so we're not just, you know, ripping people off, which would not be cool. Um, so there's that. Now, for people who are super, uh, I guess, thorough, there are sites like Trademarkia, which is just trademarkia.com, where you can search and see if there's any problems uh, with a particular phrase. Now, if you accidentally use a phrase that's copyrighted that you don't know about, what happens is Amazon will send you a message and they'll say, hey, you used something that was trademarked, Basically, don't do it again, and then you don't lose your account or anything. Now, if I mean, I haven't. There's been people that if it happens over and over. I've heard of a couple instances where they lost their account, they appealed it, and then they got their account back. So it's not like um, it's ultimately not that big of a deal. And most of the time, Amazon just, Amazon just says, "Hey, take that listing down." Um, for in terms of people taking your designs, it's going to happen, and it's something that. I mean, really just kind of have to roll with it. It happens to me all the time, yet my sales go up every single month anyway. And a lot of times it's uh, people like hijackers from overseas, called hijackers where they'll just take your listing and try to sell them cheaper. But I mean, it really, it, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. You see how quickly you can come up with the different designs, you can come up with the different words, add new things. So you just keep adding new designs and, and roll with it. And the thing is that Amazon rewards you. The more designs that you make, the same thing for the other platforms, the more designs and the more products you put up, the more they're going to prefer you because you're helping contribute to their catalog. You're making their site better. And doing that, you're going to get preferred anyway. So even if people start to steal your product, phrases or whatever, you're still going to have the preferential treatment with Amazon. So it's really not a big deal at the end of the day. Uh, it's trademarkia.com. I just sent it to all of you because someone asked. Uh, what's the email where we send the receipt for the Gearbubble upgrade? It's seller at gearbubble.com. And thank you for signing up. I'm glad you're in there. I think you'll like it. Okay, let's keep looking here. Yes, the software is not, um, it's desktop based. So you can be on a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter. And it definitely works for people, no matter where you live, you don't have to live in the United States in order to do this well. We have all kinds of people from all kinds of countries. Okay. Oh, okay, is there gonna be saturation? This is a really good, Thing that people ask about. Uh, and there's just so many kind of points to bring up around this. First is, before I was ever even selling on Amazon, there were hundreds of thousands of items on there and it didn't stop me from making multiple six figures. Even if like 
5,000 people were to join this program, we're still just a fraction of the people who are already on Amazon. And I think that people forget that, that there's so many uh, sellers already on there. There's because, and there's so many buyers. You're going to have that. You're going to be getting unique designs to sell that nobody else has. It's not like you're all getting the same designs or something. So you get to take 1,000 plus unique items and put them in Amazon. So there's all kinds of entry points for people to find you and buy from you. E-commerce is still going up, I think, 23% year over year. You have all the unique products, and you can see this is something I have a lot of opinions on. It's, um, and even if you think about like, like how many clothing stores are there, right? And how many pieces of clothing are out there? And how often do you see people wearing the same exact shirt? I mean, it happens, but it's far more a rare thing than the norm. Same kind of style, yes, but not the same exact shirt. So um, I really don't think you need to worry about saturation. Okay. We do not have a payment plan right now because of all the hard costs. I keep going. Uh, yes, this can all be outsourced, and I don't recommend spending money or any, on it or anything until you start getting results, but you can, um, yeah, you can do that later on. How do you get Etsy sales if you don't use Etsy ads? The same kind of thing that you're doing with um, Amazon, where you have great titles and you have great designs. The titles and the tags on Etsy are really good, too, where you um, just make sure you're plugging in keywords that people are searching for, for your different products. Yes, this person makes, I'm sorry, your name isn't showing up, but a really good point is there are over 7 billion people in the world, plenty of opportunity. Seriously, I mean, they're, we're selling on the world's biggest marketplace. Tons of opportunity. QQQ, isn't it only items in the buy box that sell? How do we win the buy box? So a couple things on that. First of all, um, yes, by, well, sorry, you don't have to sell, on the, you don't have to have the buy box. And what he means by buy box is if you're on Amazon, um, sometimes you can have a quick add to cart button, which is the buy box. And then sometimes it says this item is available from these sellers and then people have to click that button and then choose the seller. We actually have a whole big file in the Facebook group from people uh, sharing how they've made tons of sales without the buy box. That said, I'm going to actually show you we're in the process right now of importing our membership over. But I'll show you in our other one because our membership program uh, smart member just stopped, or sorry, they just um, they decided they're not going to be supporting anymore. But I can just show you what the content is. Inside the training, though, where I'm going with this is we have a whole big training on how you can win the buy box. There's somebody in the training who had showed people how they could very easily get that buy box. We have people all the time coming in and saying that it worked for them. And you can see here, by the way, in the members area, even though this isn't the one you'll see, the, the other one is very similar. Lots of short videos, point and click to what you want. You see the transcripts. And you can speed them up, slow them down, whatever you need. Oh, and I guess the pictures have already been lost from this site. But um, the, the pictures are basically screenshots people, of people saying it works. So we have a couple different options that you can do. This popcorn hack, option number two, is what so many people say works really well for them. So we have lots of training in there on that. OK. What is the average price of a mug on Amazon? So actually that brings me up to another, I'm glad you asked that, I meant to show you before. In our Facebook group, we have a section called, it's just rachelrofay.com slash mindset, where we go over different things that people, like people sometimes will try to come up with different reasons to um, stop themselves from letting this work for them, the kind of like excuses, whatever. So we have a lot of the questions that people ask and then different members can go and contribute their answers. So here's one. I just checked mugs selling on Amazon, found that most of them are selling for less than $14.95. How do we make sales? And then there's so many great answers. I'll just paraphrase here. Uh, Carl says, if you only put mugs up that are like based on really popular ones, like coffee makes me poop or I love my Labrador or whatever, um, you're competing with those people. But if you're consistently listing in lots of different niches, then you're getting, you want people, like people who are gonna purchase are gonna say, 
oh, well, like this is perfect for my brother. This is perfect for my uncle, whatever. As long as it's under $20, you're really not asking for much. I've tested a lot of different prices and found that $19.95 worked just fine. After it gets above $20, it's a little bit harder, but it's really not a big deal outside of that. Um, here's another answer from Zed. So totally get this, similar thought had crossed my mind. Here's what I realized. Let's say you're selling a mug for $14.95 or $16.95 plus $4.95 shipping. Off the bat, that leaves you with $7 to $12 profit, um, depending on if you're selling black or white. Uh, then you look at fees, which I think the math is a little bit off there, but he said, at first you're thinking that I'm only gonna be making three to eight bucks per mug. How am I gonna make a profit? But what you forget is this, how would you be selling these otherwise? Most likely Facebook ads, which you have to sometimes pay four or five, six dollars for conversions. Here, you're only being charged when the item sells. This person, there's always going to be, um, there will always be someone you can't beat, I guess, uh, but it doesn't mean you can't compete with them. There's competitive advantages. Um, so in here, much of the risk is reduced. You can afford a lower profit margin. You won't compete on price. You're gonna have the very niche things. I mean, you could see there are a lot of different things, uh, reasons that people make this not a big deal. I love that mindset thing. Okay. Oh, yes, good question. So in Gearbubble, when I'm trying to create a product, it says campaign length. Does that mean after the, those days, the product won't be available after? No, it'll still be available. You can ignore that. Okay, when will this, let's see. So it's going to be available for um, not much, just a few more days, really, to, I think, through the end of the week. And then I wanna make sure that we have everything like I wanna make sure that everyone in there gets a really fantastic experience. Um, let's see, awesome. Yes, someone says, uh, oh wait. Do you have to do anything with marketing on Facebook or can this be left out of the picture? No, you definitely do not need to market on Facebook. I am terrible with any kind of paid ads, even the Amazon one, I'm lucky to get these sales, but. I know it's all about let's be low hanging as possible. And so the premise is someone's searching for a funny knitting mug. We're giving them a funny knitting mug and that's it. Like I'm not, we, you don't have to go to Facebook and try to convince people that they need a funny knitting mug. You don't have to go and learn how to do all kinds of fancy ad permutations and analytics. No, it's all about let's keep this super simple. If they're looking for this, I'm going to give it to them. They'll give me the money. Win, win, wash your hands, you're done. So no, you don't need to do Facebook at all. Um, someone says, yes, exactly. So if people don't buy the price, they buy the design. It's called unique selling point, be different. Absolutely. Okay, let me make this a little bigger. I see a big wall of text here. Okay, yes, reviews are generally really fantastic. Like I said, there's always cranky customers for absolutely everything, but overall product quality is Superb. Um, okay, let me keep looking here. Thank you guys for still being here. Hopefully, if you still have more questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to to answer them. Okay, so we're going through Q Q Q. Shirts are not gated. Jewelry, I don't believe, is gated now either. So you can start to sell those right away. UPC codes you do not need to pay for. We go through in the training exactly how you can get away from that. You can't type in just QQQ. <laughs> you have to type the whole thing, um, or type in a question, please, if you have it. Um, where do the items ship from? So there's different warehouses, and the shirts are in different parts of the United States. There's different fulfillment centers for there, uh, except for the all over shirts, which I think are in somewhere in Europe you, or UK maybe. Or, and then, um, or the, yeah, uh, London, I'm not sure. And then there is, is the other stuff ships from the United States, but it ships worldwide with the DHL International. So the mugs, posters, pillowcases, shot glasses are in Pennsylvania. And then the necklaces are in Kansas. Oh, good question. Yes, you can put on the personalized mugs, you can do either pictures or photos. 
which is pretty cool. People have been asking, can you do this on, you can do it on mugs. You can also do it on other types of clothing. So some people want to do, for example, personalized hoodies or shirts for family reunions with pictures and text. You can do both a picture and text. Okay, some of these questions are hopefully um, Don is still having good internet. He can answer those because they're just unique to people. In terms of collecting email addresses from customers, so this is a passive income play. You can't necessarily um, build an email list from doing these because we're going after creating super simple sales, making the money, and being done. Amazon doesn't want you to have their customer data. That said, in the course, we have a section about scaling up. It's not the most thorough section, just to be totally you know, honest, that like most of where I like to focus is just keeping it super simple. But we do have a bit of information in there where we go over how you can take the niches that do really well and then scale up where you can build the list and, and all that stuff. But for most of these things, you're throwing up your designs to take a few seconds, whatever minutes to make, and then making the income, you can look and see what sells the best and then scale up from there. Okay. The Facebook group you will find once you sign up, there's a link inside the original page. Uh, shipping to Israel is the same as everywhere. With the mugs, it's only a uh, dollar more. So $4.95 to ship domestic within the United States and then a dollar extra $5.95 anywhere worldwide. Okay. Do you get the customer email to sell to? Oh yeah, no. In Etsy should it be made put by you at, made by us or made by another company. So in the course, we actually have a section on um, how to do Etsy like the legal way so you don't get in any trouble. So every single question that you're supposed to fill out, um, I already put in there plus all the answers. So I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but we're, we're being completely transparent with them. We're letting them know that we're not producing the items, but we're creating all the designs and it's made in a way, it's worded in a way where everything is totally fine. Yes, the mugs are designed on demand. So only after you make the sales do you have to actually pay for the mug and create it. Um, so QQQ, sorry for the question. Is there anybody from the last LHS who really applied everything and didn't have any success at all? Um, you know, there are people who will like say that they're not getting sales or something. And then I find that it comes down to the same things all the time. And once they fix those things, I always see it work. And actually, that's something I didn't even mention. I completely forgot to mention. But inside the group, I have a couple answers for this. It's a really good question. I think it's a, it's a good thing to ask. So first is one of the things that I like to do for people who are having a hard time making any kind of making sales is I go through and I critique their mugs. So we have this whole section here in the course where there are 25 up so far, and there's more that are still in the queue to be edited, where I'll go through and say, here, like give me a mug that you think should have sold or a product that you think should have sold, let me go through it. And then I'll go through and explain everything that worked and didn't work about it. We have had people, like Joey was the first person who I did some of his critiques, and he said it was like a light switch. As soon as he started to apply the changes that I talked about, then he started to see sales. I forgot, I had a slide for that. I guess I accidentally deleted it, but um, the critiques really help you make sales. Plus, I mean, the thing is, I don't want you to not make sales. Like, I don't want to feel crappy about this. The reason why I've stuck with low-hanging system for such a long time is because I feel really awesome about the fact that people are getting results and that I can show you these thousands of testimonials. So here's another section I made, uh, a post, a long post, where I talked about the common mistakes that people might make and what they can do. And I'll show you, it's like mistake number one, making your designs too fancy, as I've mentioned, getting over-innovated, number two. Um, number three, not going into enough niches. There's a lot of people who might want to make like 5,000 products for basketball when you should do basketball and scrapbooking and running and sewing and different things. You want to throw spaghetti at the wall. Uh, use the right keywords. It gives some actionable things to do. So many resources here, different mindset shifts, how to re-optimize, make sure you're putting your designs on multiple things. I really feel very confident that if you start to use the advice that I share, I mean, even people like 
one of the people that I gave testimonials on who's giving who's getting so many sales. She said every time she went on the webinar, she learned even more and she was able to make a lot of sales. So as long as you're asking questions and you're doing um, and you're following, like if you're not getting sales, ask questions, let me help you, help me help you kind of thing. I know that sales will come. Um, and my friend Pennsylvania, I'm in Pennsylvania right now. I'm from New York. I moved to Pennsylvania when I was 14 and then traveled a lot. But the warehouse is in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Um, QQQ, is this, so this is very simple designs, no overcomplicated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, let me see if I can get this up. So because we have so many of these, um, of these different testimonials, I started putting them in little albums and I started, I have an album for simple. So, um, so 349 units sold. Most of these were just simple text only designs and white mugs. Don't be so sure. I'm often surprised at the things that people buy. Don't be surprised if the ones you think are most clever don't sell and the ones you thought were meh fly off the shelves. Uh, here's a pillowcase design, simple black text. Uh, just in case you doubt the veracity of what Rachel teaches, I just sold a mug on Etsy that had one word in Arielle, nothing special, nothing fancy. Yes, the, the more simple you make it, the better. Here's the one I mentioned earlier, got my first sale, very surprised, my design is freaking simple. He's not a native English speaker and he's still able to just come up, like follow the system and make, make sales. Okay. Let's see, what else? Where's the green one? Oops, I keep doing that one. Okay. Do you recommend selling on Wish, Walmart, or any others? So Walmart is um, the bane of my existence. <laughs> um, they actually invited me to sell on their platform, and then they made me fill out a lifetime worth of paperwork, and then they just keep going back and back and back with more things. So no, I don't do Walmart just because it's really, really hard. Uh, Wish is doable, absolutely. And actually inside the Jumpstart program, one of the things that I was doing was people were asking about uh, how Wish was going and I was giving them my updates. So we can talk about that. Wish is really great for getting international buyers. You need to be able to sell your items in five, or ship the items out within five to 10 days, which most of the year is totally fine. Christmas, it can, get dicey sometimes so you just want to keep that in consideration with your handling times but you can um, definitely it's probably my favorite like fourth market over bonanza and things <laughs> so this is, remember the kiss principle keep it simple stupid or sweetheart if you're easily offended oh awesome my sister lives in montgomery county um someone says yeah walmart's a pain in the butt to sell on especially since they delight in deactivating listed listed products for no good reason yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Actually, fun little fact that no one will really care about, but my first job was a uh, Walmart cashier. And I worked my way up to management from there. And then I had one more job as a Target exec, and then I went to become full-time on my own. Okay, let's see what else here. Did you study this in school? Um, no, actually, I mean, I technically ended up getting my degree in business, but it was more of a matter of pride because I was already working when I was, so when I was 23 at the time, I was making $55,000 a year as a executive manager or whatever. And I thought that I wouldn't really, like, I was really, really pumped about that. And I didn't plan on kind of changing, but I wanted to get my degree just to, like, just say I had it because I'd already gone for a couple of years. So business was the one that I had the most credit towards that I could just get the degree, but I really learned a lot more just doing things myself <laughs> um, than school. Can we use your system from Singapore? Yep, you can use it anywhere. We're starting to wind down on the questions. So if you have anything that you're wondering, uh, just make sure to put QQQ and then ask. Uh, Pixplosion is a desktop based free tool that you can use for your designs. Uh, anyone can sign up for Amazon. If you're international, then you need to just do a couple things differently, which we go over in the course, but you don't have to go through an approval process or something for that. I'm avoiding monthly fees. Are there any other fees? Nope. 
What about listing on Pinterest and Instagram? Kind of like I was saying with Facebook, I wouldn't do that. Maybe you want to do that later if you want to scale up in a niche, but right now it's really just overcomplicating it. And you can post political or uh, other things you can create designs for, so that's totally fine. In Etsy, should we put made by us or made by another company? I forget exactly what the terminology is and what the best answer is, but it's all in the course where it goes over exactly what to say for each one. Okay, how soon with the upgrade and gearable will the upgrade and gearable get done so we can start using it? Uh, so immediately you're going to get your access. Oh, for the integration, I think it's within 24, 24 hours, I would imagine. I know we have teams like, frantically upgrading people. I just take your receipt forward to seller at gearbubble.com. Give us like 48 hours. I'd love to say 24, but there's a solid chance it might take 48, but it's still pretty quick. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, can I use my MacBook? I use MacBook Air. Are there any limitations with this computer? No, I have a MacBook Air too. I need to get a better one, but a better like Mac. But no, everything's desktop based, so it doesn't matter if you use a PC, a Mac, iPhone, whatever. Oh, who pays you once the sales come in? So the way it works is on eBay, people pay via PayPal, so you get paid immediately. On Etsy, people have the option to either pay via PayPal or a credit card. If it is via PayPal, then you get paid immediately. If they pay via credit card, then you get paid, I think it's weekly. And then on Amazon, if you have an existing account, then you get paid, an, an existing account that's like older than, I think the last couple of months, you get paid every other week. And if you're a new seller, they have options so that you get paid daily. Now, the cool thing about having the $100 in Gearbubble credits is that even if Amazon doesn't pay you immediately, your mugs are still basically free or whatever you're selling because you have those credits to cover the sales. Uh, Low-hanging system, yes. So all of this is updated. Low-hanging system, everyone who has that, it's like a, so this is a separate offer from low-hanging system. It includes low-hanging system, but that course is updated. We have all kinds of people that, write in and say thank you for having continuously updated it. I don't have like a zillion different courses where it's like making a quick buck. This has been my main thing. And you can see from all the testimonials that people find a lot of value in it. And so anything, any of the updates that were mentioned here are in the course or they're in my file of things to add, but mostly they're all in the course. I have a huge list of things. I'm just constantly wanting to update there. Um, okay. Why was shipping the income? I put shipping in as an income for just something. I, when I was working out the cost, you have the money that comes in is the initial price and then the shipping. And then we were counting for all the expenses as well. So you could know exactly what the profit was going to be. Um, good, I'm glad that you found this informative. And for the person who just asked about the integration, yes, it does. Okay, it works for all of those products. T-shirt sizes go up to 5XL. Scrolling through to see if there's anything left. If you have any last questions, it looks like we're winding down towards the end here. So make sure you get in any question that you have. Actually, no one even asked. At this point, there's not a, um, because there is are so many hard costs on this with the mugs and the done for you designs and all this stuff, there's not like a, a guarantee period where you can come and get the designs and get things and then get your money back. So it is, I and mean, you can easily Google Rachel Rofe, Google my name, Google low hanging system. You'll find that I'm legit, <laughs> pretty good reputation. And um, yeah, so that's how that's working. We're not doing something where people can get, can refund because of all the hard costs. Um, let me see here. is Shopify. So I'm not sure on spot niches with the software, what we're going to do with that. Uh, you won't get automatically charged or anything. We'll go over it and figure something out. Um, I just want to be careful about it. I don't want too many people to ever have it because it's super powerful. And I just, yeah, I don't know. I just love, I have an unhealthy attachment to that tool. Uh, Shopify is not necessary. Actually, you don't need to do Shopify at all. This is really all about posting on um, the major marketplaces, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and then getting the sales from there. With Shopify, you would really need to have your own traffic to be able to get sales unless you know about Google SEO and things like that. 
but we're just trying to keep it simple. You don't need your own website, nothing like that. So no, you don't need to have a separate store. Uh, your cost for the white coffee mug is just $4.95 for the 11 ounce, I think $5.95 for 15 ounce, and then $4.95 for shipping. Um, so the lifetime integrations will just be will, will be available for a few more days. We're actually so I haven't even the lifetime thing is something that's just going to be for this launch period. We're never going to be offering lifetime integrations again for all of this stuff for any program. This is a huge, huge deal. Um, normally, it's just one year when you get it and then that's it. So to have lifetime for everything. I mean, we've had low hanging system for a while. There's a lot of people that have already come around their second year. I think maybe the third year. No, maybe not. Definitely. I know there's been second year people wanting to know how to purchase again. So even after two years, you get more than five figures worth of value since the $6,000 a year in integrations. And then to be able to have that lifetime is really big. Um, shipping is going to be per unit, but there are ways that you can stack up the campaigns to make it cheaper. Uh, spot niches, yes, well, it's not, we don't have a full answer on the details on that yet, but yeah, we'll figure out a way for it to be available still. Uh, there's no automatic charges or something. Uh, yes, kids are great with this program. We have a lot of people that sign up that have kids. Okay. Let me see here if there's anything else that I missed, but I think we've got mostly everything. Oh, so if you've already got low hanging system, then you would need to sign up for this particular package because there's a lot of other things beyond just low hanging system here. So um, you can sign up. If you already know how to run low hanging system, that's awesome. You have a lot of the information to get going immediately. You can request your designs right away. You can request your boxes of mugs because those are obviously shipped out first come first serve and then just email your receipt to seller at gearbubble.com and they will upgrade you with the integrations but yeah we can't just give this and give this stuff to everyone who already has low hanging because these hard costs i mean this 891 dollars just in mugs hundred dollars in gear bubble credits we are going to do something to um kind of like make it special for people who have gotten low hanging system already but this is definitely an extra purchase Thank you. I'm really glad that you said uh, you feel this has been a good webinar and training. I think we're done here. I'm just being extra thorough. Speak now. Please remember hold your peace if you have any other questions. Uh, yes, rachelreports at gmail.com is the support email. Uh, so for FBA fulfillment, yeah, you're doing mostly fulfilled by merchant, which means that when you list your products, you're going to say that you will ship the products when they sell. Now, you are not physically shipping the products, but you're going to make the sale, and then the warehouses will, Gearbubble, will send the order information to their fulfillment warehouses. It'll get made and sent to your customer on your behalf, and then you'll have the tracking number updated. For the special bonus of the five boxes of free mugs, those are going to get sent to Amazon. And then those will have the prime button. It'll they'll be FBA. Okay. Um, how do we decide which mugs go to Amazon? So you can either choose them on your own, or you can ask us. So we can help you. You would just we will we'll give you training on how to choose the best possible designs, and then from there you'll choose it, select down to your best twenty or something, and then we'll go through and help you choose your best ones from there. Perfect, Ruth. Yeah, so that should help you. Is the process automated? Do we have to place the order when the order comes in? If you have the integrations with this offer, then it's automated. Let's see a couple more questions trickling in. Trickling in. Um, with the five boxes of mugs, are these one design or could they be one design per box? It's totally up to you. Yeah, a lot. Most people wanted to do five different boxes that you can do, you can mix and match. You can do two designs, one with two boxes, one with three, or all five in one, whatever. Um, this is a great webinar, thank you. Good, I'm glad you liked it. And totally get it, So I'm thinking about buying this. I already spent uh, money on a different program that felt, fell way short integrating. You seem to really have your stuff together. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, is like people will say, why do you charge so much for these integrations? Well, that's because they're constantly being maintained. So that's why, um, like otherwise, 
it's just, it would be hard to continue justifying all of that. And that's why there are so many people actively paying for these integrations. So for you to be able to have the lifetime now and not have to pay on a monthly basis to get that support and just benefit, it's pretty awesome. Awesome, Susan, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you for saying that. Oh yeah, someone, it just says best friend because of the import, it says already purchased my first product pumped. Way to go, that is awesome. Um, yeah, that's really cool. I'm really glad to hear that. Way to go. See here, Sunset was on the webinar yesterday, set up their first mug, sold their first mug while she slept. I love it. Hopefully the same thing happens to you. I think we're about done here. Oh, um, oh man. Um, Christopher says, I still got 1200 LED flashlights in my garage from a previous e-commerce venture. Hope this program works out better. Well, I guess that means that you've signed up. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, the cool thing about this is that you don't need to buy any inventory up front, so you don't need to worry about having a garage full of mugs or necklaces or whatever else you do. Um, it's just you, you first prove the product, and then if you want to do something else and scale up, you can. Okay, doing one quick last search through. There's still so many people here, so I don't know if you're just listening, if you have any questions. Um, yes, you can sell internationally. People were saying it was a no-brainer. It really is. If you look at these sections, it really pays for itself very easily. Everyone gets different designs. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Super helpful and eye-opening. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm glad that um, you found value from this. So thank you. Uh, UPC numbers. No, you do not need UPCs once you go through the training. You'll see exactly how you can um, just list your products without having to pay for them. We have everything in there for you. Uh, thank you, Christopher. Says, thank you, Rachel. Nice marathon webinar. I know. I feel like my voice has come back a little bit. Do we build our own listings on Amazon? Yeah, you have the integration. If you have the integration, you can go and press the button and it'll upload right over to Amazon for you. Okay, so guys, thank you very much. We're almost three hours in at this point, so thank you for taking the time to be here so long. Um, hopefully you got some value from this, um, the whole offer. I really think if you join, you will be happy you did. There's so much built in here to get you a huge return on your, to get you a return on your investment. I really designed this with, what can we do to make it inevitable that you get a return on investment and that you have success? So I guess actually in closing, I'll just quickly walk through again, real quick, what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the 100 done for you designs, which you can put on 10 plus products each, have a product catalog of 1,000 plus products ready to go, which is worth thousands of dollars. You're gonna get these five boxes of free mugs that you would normally pay $891 in hard costs for. You're gonna get that sent to Amazon for you. It can more than pay for the entire course as we went over. You're gonna have weekly Q&A calls, so if there's anything stopping you, any, any questions you have, anything at all, you can ask me, we'll be there. If you can't make the call live, no problem. Send in your question in advance. You'll get replays, transcripts, $100 worth of hard goods to buy. You get the SpotWins research tool so you can look and see uh, what's already selling well across all kinds of platforms. You get the software tool to make it so that you can easily create designs without having to pay for anything. All kinds of product mockups. You get these lifetime integrations, which after two years is over $12,000 worth of value, $6,049 $6, your first year. Lifetime will never be offered again. Access to spot niches so you can find all these really awesome keywords with high searches, low results. You'll get the Facebook group, the entire Longing System course with thousands of testimonials, case studies, the critiques, all of it. It's really a great, great value. Okay, thanks again everyone for being here. And I hope to see you inside.